Hello and welcome to the Free Cheese, episode 184. I'm your Joe Dix, joined by Mark Augustiniak. What's up? Matt Selner. I'm back. Welcome back, Matt. The Free Cheese, the weekly video game podcast about video games, brought to you once a week by thefreecheese.com. On today's episode, we have some arms-on impressions of the Nintendo Switch. I'll let that sit for a second. Final Fantasy XV glitches, Bloodborne, and... I've been killing spiders, yeah. And... Riding narwhals in space. But first... How are you both doing? Great. Great? Yes. Why great? Who won this week? Tavel in the 12-game. <laughs> Home <laughs> winning streak. Going into their sixth day by. Today's day one. Mark, tell me something better than that. I'm skeptical. Of what? Uh-oh. Well, see, now Matt's here. Mm. Last time, Dash was here. <laughs> I'm going to comment on this later. They're still not in the same room together. Oh, yeah. I don't like those. Huh. So- something's up. Something, about it. Something is up. As I wink at Mark. <laughs> he didn't wink, everybody. That, nope, that's <laughs> not Dash. That's just a, that's a chair. I do need to thank Dash. Yeah. For being a great guest. Uh, yeah. And um, as always, and then, of course, naturally bringing up Horizon at the most opportune time, multiple times, last week. Dash, thank you. Thank you. Dash is never invited on again. I don't know why you're thanking yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, yep. It's Matt, been a long week, Matt kids. Man. Who? Matt Man. Matt Man. Matt Man. Yeah. yeah. I'm getting. I have a new sleep schedule, and I don't like it. But I do like it because I'm up earlier. But I'm it's up earlier. Sucks, doesn't it? It's like you're an adult. Yeah, like it's weird because it's not like my schedule really changed. But I've been working a lot more earlier days. Um, I'm sorry, you're. Jingle all the way DVDs like staring at me. Uh, <laughs> it's just, yeah, as it should be. Great. Like, what is in my periphery? <laughs> yeah. Because I was putting things away and I, I had that and I went, well, you know, I can't. Why you not? Know, yeah, what am I going to do? Put this in, just spine out? No, a, of course what not. A, what a young ass Schwarzenegger. That's all airbrush. Still, though, like, what year was that? Uh, 97. Yeah. A good one. I would like it if they. Remade that movie today, right now. With who? Same. I mean, exact oh, same oh, cast. Okay. Unfortunately, wouldn't have Phil Hartman, because yeah. his wife's a fucking asshole. But yeah, that'd be be interesting. I know. Like a sequel or just a, you, no, no you exact said, you same said, thing. Exact. Just with them now. So literally, I like, mean, line for line, same kid, same like the Psycho remake. Lit- so like a grown ass no, kid wants no. wants like, this toy. Literally, everything is the exact same. No, you're not changing the story. It's just no, that, I'm not. I'm that, saying, but th- but that actor, that kid, is now an adult. Correct. So the, the adult he, would be wanting this toy. And, and old Schwarzenegger has never. Say, we're not changing a toy toy either, are we? No. Nothing. Nothing changes. Literally, nothing changes. You're just making the same movie now, twenty years later. Sinbad could either make or lose more money. It doesn't... He's, he's going to be fine. He'll be great. I'll he'll, buy him He'll be relevant. Money. <laughs> God, can you imagine? God, please. There is a universe out there somewhere <laughs> where this movie is being made right now. Is that, I the, is that, the, that, same, is that the same universe where... Uh, where we see traffic accidents? Yeah. And kids on bikes? Get, yeah. <laughs> wow. We had some fun in traffic <laughs> yesterday on the way to the Switch event and on the way back from where... We almost saw a terrible car accident with an ambulance, and I was like, ah, shit. Some other universe, that would have been just an afternoon for someone, you know? Uh, But we did have one piece of cool reality in our journey. We're not going to give you all the Switch stuff right now. We'll save that for later in the podcast. But Mark and I saw something cool. (laughs) Unfortunately, this is before we started recording, because we recorded a lot of footage yesterday, and I'm going to edit that, and we'll have a video on the site and stuff. But... Dundalk Gold. Oh, boy. We were sitting at a red light. And two gangs of birds. uh, Crows and seagulls. Or seagulls, you might uh, know them to be. Oh, one's my my alma mater mascot. I'm very familiar with Mm -hmm. the seagull. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they're a a rat bird that lives by the ocean. Oh, they're terrible. (laughs) Um, The seagulls and the crows are fighting over something yeah we weren't sure 
We're like, huh. And then we see a little crow boy. And he grabs the thing from the ground, scurries his wings to the sky, as birds do. He, like, he, got, he, like, he flew over us. Right. And then landed up on the uh, light pole. Oh, right, yeah. He, he went there first. He went on top right. of the light first. Then he went and what I... What I was commenting on was, I didn't give a shit what he was eating, but I was like, oh, you know, that's, it's funny because I can see those little spiky things on the top of the thing and they're doing nothing to detract these birds from squatting down on there. And I was commenting on that and indicating towards Mark, look at that bird. Bird flew off because the seagull then came and was like, hey, I would like to have that inside of me. I'm going to steal that food from you. Mm-hmm. And then I'm looking, and Mark, what's that? And I just see like this little, like it, it looks like a piece of plastic. But then Mark, like, 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 like flimsy. But then yeah, I know maybe it's a thick French fry. You I don't know? know, but like the tip of it, it tip looks kind of oh weird. God. It was it, it was like a little like nip. color looks kind of weird. Yeah, it was a little bumpy. A little bumpy. Oh God. A little used. And I went, oh God, what the hell is that? That confirmed all my suspicions. <laughs> Mark goes, I think it's a condom. Yeah. Ah, ah. Is it a? Co- that's a. Is it? Oh yeah, yeah. That's yep. a used condom. There, yep. Thanks, thanks, uh, thanks, Dundo. Yeah. <laughs> we just stay classy. Yeah. What can I say? <laughs> I, I wasn't really that surprised. I mean, we were amazed that these birds are fighting over it, but I wasn't surprised to see a condom out and like. In, no, that's normal. Fair out, out, out on the road. <laughs> yeah. That's. I mean, that, that's nothing against where either of you uh, hail from. That's. Just normal street fare as it as it comes, you know. Yeah. I feel like every street has its own. You could be in the middle of uh, at, least, at least Baltimore. Anywhere, I think. I can't. I. I, I mean, I can't. Well, I guess New York. I would. New if York. you're listening to this, please write in if you've never found a used condom in the street in yeah. your hometown, wherever that hometown. Dayton, Ohio. You've got condoms. But do you have birds fighting over them? Yes. Probably. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. They're different. Probably not birds. a seagull, but yeah, probably a bird. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That was fun. That was, oh, that was a tasty look. Probably the highlight of the week for me, I think. <laughs> Can't recall much else. Yeah, nothing else really happened. I don't think you can recall anything else. Pretty dead that. weekend. Outside of the Switch thing, that's fine. I just mean like in terms of events that happened. Oh, I thought we were... Birds eating condoms. That was... I thought we were jokingly ignoring that event. It was like that didn't happen. I, again, like that was pretty good. Yeah. But birds eating condoms, that's that's a once in a lifetime thing. As being witness to uh, none of these things, yeah. uh, the bird thing sounds a lot more interesting than the Switch <laughs> event. Uh, yeah, and I'll tell you, the Switch <laughs> event was fantastic. So that says something about my feelings yeah, that, towards this that, bird like, condom that, that's fight. Setting a, that's setting a standard here. Yeah. Like. Well, it's pretty good. Uh, well, it's I'm glad you're both here. It's nice to have us all in the same room again. I've seen both of you independently this week. Which has been nice, but I like when we're all together. Well, thanks. Yeah. You're welcome for that oh. comment. Manners. <laughs> right? Um, every week, we always uh, get our podcast started with a little segment called Now Playing, where we talk about the games we played in the last week. Or maybe the games we tried to play, but they fucked us with a dumb glitch. Final Fantasy 15, god damn it. What happened now? Have you run into any weird things in that game in terms of like... Day one? Great. No. <laughs> Matt? <laughs> uh, mine wasn't too bad, though. It wasn't like breaking the game. What happened with yours? Uh, There was no water when I was fishing. Okay, yeah. that It, it was just empty. Were there fish? No. Okay. It was just nothing. All right. Literally nothing. <laughs> That's okay. But Mine, I've had this similar thing twice did, now, but did, this one broke everything. Did you fall through? No. I would have loved if my, I My friend through. did that. That he, would be great. Yes, he, he has footage of it. I yeah. He fell through the ground and was just infinitely falling. Mm. Oh, I'm going to tell you about the footage, too. That happens in a lot of games <laughs> um, nowadays, unfortunately. I. So the, the Red Giant, the big ones that come out in the night, you know what I'm mm-hmm, talking about? Mm-hmm. Matt, there uh, are. Okay, yeah, yeah. Just keep going. They're big. They look like, uh, imagine the genie from Aladdin if he had devil's horns and was Jafar. about as tall. No, I'm the genie. No, but, but didn't, didn't Jafar become like a genie? Like a red yeah, genie? Yeah, at the very end. The very end. Okay. That. 
That. Okay. Okay. I got. Actually, that's a great picture. Thank you. I got it now. A huge hawking thing, but the size of like six buildings stacked on top of each other, and then squished back down to just be a little bit bigger than a human. Got it. <laughs> this is a good size comparison. Yeah. Uh, big old fire sword. Sword made of fire. Uh, Seen plenty of those in my day. Of course, right. Uh, they kind of just crawl out of the ground, and you hear the nightmare music start, and you're like, all right, I got to fight this thing. They're very difficult, very aggravating, whatever. One time, a month or two ago, guy comes out of the ground. He's like, all right, fight this thing. Um, he kept kind of backing up. And you know, Mark, in Final Fantasy XV, when you start a uh, battle, on your map there's a perimeter or a, a mm-hmm. radius of where that battle takes place. If you exit that, you're safe from combat. So you can run and flee from combat pretty simply. Yeah. The time that this happened to me, uh, last time around, this guy kept backing himself up a little bit until he was just outside of the circle. So if you went to go attack him, you would leave the combat area and it didn't register that you were actually in a fight. You would tick away his health a little bit, but if you happen to step back into the circle... And then the combat music kicked back on and it engaged that combat thing. His health was back to being full. Uh, that's, mm. that's poop. You've got a... Uh, what's her name? Ariana? Grande? Grande. Who's the girl? She falls from the sky. What? Did you ever fight the, the, the lady with the face mask? I don't know. All right. Did you get through... I was like, chapter six? Pro- no. All no, right. No. So there's a lady you fight, chapter six. Okay. After you fight her, a little while later, like one she, of the main villains. Yeah, okay. she'll end up hanging out with you and being like, "You guys are cool. Can I uh, come beat up demons with you in the night?" So, after a while, if you're fighting these red giants and you can't get through them, the Magitek ship will fly above you. She'll drop down. She'll help you fuck some shit up. She's very good like that. You know, hmm. she's, uh, she's a nice lady. Mm-hmm. She dropped down in this particular instance, helped fuck shit up, killed him. Um, but it, I had to kind of let her do all the fighting. If I tried to step up and fight, it would not think that I was still in battle and his health bar would be unaffected. Very weird. Mm. Whatever. Done. Who cares? That's right. That was, yeah, that was then. This is now. So now, last night I'm playing and I'm going to point Final Fantasy 15. I'm on the last chapter. I'm done. I'm at the final thing. I'm ready to go. Done. All right. I'll come back to that. We'll talk, we'll talk about chapter 13 in a minute. You're going to love chapter 13. I've heard about oh, you're, chapter you, 13. Oh, so 13 is the final. No, 14 is the final. Oh, 13. I've heard about the 13. Oh, you're going to love 13. I'm past that. I'm at the end. But I, you get a little mechanic later on where the dog Umbra, you can call Umbra and say, yo, I want to go back in time. And you can go back to the previous days and you can go back to like... Oh, that's weird. Finish side quests and do other things and you can travel to different places that way. Uh, um, it's pretty so cool. I can, so I can skip half the stuff I'm doing now and just. I wouldn't visit recommend it. it later. I wouldn't recommend it. I if I could go back, I wish I would have done what a couple of my friends at work have done, where they just grinded the shit out of everything, did every side quest, did every hunt, and they're now like level 60, 70, 80, mm-hmm. going into the end game with no problem. Me, right. I've had a little bit of struggle because I'm like level thirty because I haven't done any side quests or any hunts or any anything. Oh, okay. With that. Um, so I'm at the end, I go back, I'm like, all right, I'm going to knock out all the side quests before I do the final chapter. I'm just going to get as much as I can. I'd like to platinum this game. I think I can. It's a pretty achievable platinum. Mm -hmm. I would wager. Um, so yeah, let's go do some shit. So I'm grinding side quests, knocking things out. What I do with the side quests is if they're kind of near one another, I'll do all the things I have to do. Then I'll fast travel in the car to go cash in on them, right? Because when you do a side quest in this game, you kind of do it, then you return to who gave you the quest, they'll give you the whatever, you get yeah. the XP, blah, blah, blah. I'm also avoiding going anywhere to cash in my XP or go to sleep because I'm trying to bank and get like thirty or 40,000 XP built up, then go to that expensive as shit hotel, stay there, get double the XP, right? Uh, so like, so you just like, go through it through the nights without sleeping and yeah does exactly. anything bad happen uh is there a price for that for not sleeping no not that i've discovered i wasn't yet. sure yeah not that i've discovered also another thing you can do if it is getting night and you kind of want to get through that is uh fast travel 
yeah. to a different place, and that will kind of skip through the night a little bit. Um, which, yeah. So you can fast travel at night. Yeah. Because aren't you the one that's like automatically driving? Uh, not anymore. Oh. You get to a point where... Because uh, Ignis was like, oh, I'm not driving. Yeah, you get to a point where that doesn't matter anymore. Or maybe uh, you are, but I don't, it doesn't, you don't have to drive. I can just... Or you can fly boom, 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 whatever. Boom. Yeah. Um, actually, that hasn't happened for me yet. So I think, really? Yeah. I don't, I, that must be a, a side quest thing I've missed. Anyway. Um, so last night, I'm like, I've got about 20,000 XP, I think. Because I've done a lot of side missions. Done a lot of things. Spent about, because I was waiting on Bayonetta to install to my Wii U. <laughs> so I was like, I'm going to spend the in, the download and install time, which is about two hours, just <laughs> playing this and whatever. So I'm having fun. Have, hanging out, listening to music, doing side quests, 20,000. I'm like, all right, do this one last thing, and then I'm going to head back to the Dirty Gulch or whatever the hell the name of the <laughs> fit. I don't know what it's called. Um, but that hotel that's at the very beginning, oh, at okay. the end of the pier, yeah. the one that's like $10,000 a night, mm-hmm. that's the one where you get double XP. So I'm like, all right, we're going to head back there. We're going to cash this in. I'm going to watch those levels. Just ding, 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 I'm ding, just, ding, I'm ding, ding, ding. waiting for the bad thing to happen. So I'm driving there. I'm on the way there. And even though you might do auto drive or whatever, if you fast travel, that's one thing. But I'm doing auto drive to my next side quest destination so I can wrap up this. If you're doing that, and something comes out of the ground, or an enemy comes up, you have to fight them. Okay. So a red giant comes out of the ground. All right, no problem. We'll, uh, and like the car stops itself. There's no way to kind of get out of it, right? You, you're kind of, the car pulls over, that guy's there, you have to fight him or escape him. But if your, ring, if your car is already in that ring. ring of combat, you kind of can't get back in the car. You're engaged in combat. All right, I'll knock him out real quick. No big deal. We start fighting him. We're chipping him down. We got him about halfway. And he's, at this point, done the same weird glitch that I mentioned before. He's outside of the ring just barely. If I go to swing my weapon at him, it puts me outside and resets it. Now, if you're quick, you can get back in the ring before his health fully refills, right? So I switch my weapon to a gun. And I figure just slow and steady. I already know how this goes. I know it's a dumb thing, but I can't get back in the car. I'm trying. It won't let me. I'll just sit here and keep blasting away at him until he's dead. So I do that for a very long time. Ariana Grande drops out from the sky. She helps me fight him. She does a lot of damage. Very good. Thank you very much. Eventually, after about five minutes or so of just... He's dead. You hear the battle music fade. You hear the the little sound effect you kind of hear, like where your experience is like kicking in oh yeah you hear that but you don't see that suddenly all the ui drops away yes no (laughs) graphical user interface at all everything's gone okay that's weird all right let's get back to the car walk back to the car no prompt to get in the car okay that's weird well you know what i'll just uh i'll hit the map button and i'll return to the car that you know that'll maybe that'll trigger something map button doesn't work okay i'll change my quest marker maybe, maybe that let me hit the uh touchpad to call that up mm. it doesn't no response zero response from anything at all okay cool can you move around i can yeah i'm running around everybody's talking it's all still happening I'm like all right well why don't i uh i was like well i'll, I'll Let's hit R2. Call a chocobo. I'll run to where I have to go. I know where I got to go. Just get there. Can't hit R2. Can't call up a menu to do anything. It's stuck in between that thing. And not only is it stuck in between, like, that thing, Mm -hmm. it also won't render anything new. So, I'm wondering. My next thought is, all right, I'm just going to run until I find another creature, engage them in combat. That will, I can complete that, and that will then kick it all in right that i'll get thinking Mm -hmm. right because i'll get another like that should prompt it who well because it still thinks i'm kind of half engaged in combat with this guy even though the red circle had disappeared everything was gone still thinks i'm engaged with that guy so it won't bring up any other there's nothing else generated on the map that i can engage in combat was the time of day changing no so i'm running and stamina is not running yeah yeah, i feel like you're 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 like frozen in a second of time yeah exactly (laughs) what happened uh 
I'm running and stamina isn't changing. It's like that motion between pausing a game and unpausing. Yeah. That sucks. So then I keep sprinting. I was like, I'm just going to run until I have to get there and maybe like something will trigger. Something. Literally nothing is happening on the map. It's just an open fucking world. I run across little blue sparkle because you find random items around. Nothing. It doesn't show me to the interact button. You're, you're a ghost. Nothing. You're, you're just in video game purgatory. Fucking terrible. <laughs> I was like, all right. Still got like 15 minutes till Bayonetta installs. I'll just quit the game, quit the app, open it back up, pick up from the last autosave. I'll have lost the last few whatever, but fine. I do that. I secede to the game's will. Open it back up. It's exactly where I left it the last time I had played a week ago. So opening it back up meant everything I had just done in that two hours didn't happen. Mm. Motherfucker. That sucks. It's so never pissed. the best feeling in the world. <sighs> never. I've had it happen to me before with like other games. I um, hate that. It was just like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. All right. Chapter 13 is a literal fucking hallway. It's like, after all the years, everyone's saying, Final Fantasy XIII is just a hallway for 80 hours. It is a two and a half hour hallway. Literal, literally, hallway map. That's it. You just wander through a hallway. I know. I played the first two hours of 13. <sighs> I mean, first three, I guess, something like that. I guess you can say there's a variety. You have your open world and you have your linears. Oh, my God. All in one game. Oh, my God. It wasn't bad. It was just like, come on. Enough is enough is enough is enough is enough. I've heard on, on the gaffes, I've mm. heard mixed reviews about that chapter 13, and I'm, I'm not going to say anything because I, I don't want to spoil the game for anyone, and I don't know what is spoilers or not just because I never yeah, played yeah, yeah, it, yeah. but I've heard mixed things, and because people are expecting such a terrible chapter 13, mm. that they're actually coming out of like, oh, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't the greatest thing in the world, but... It's kind of how, like, there was something, like, my... What I had read before was that Square was issuing a patch at some point or working on a fix that would kind of change Chapter 13 because they said that certain character motivations felt unjust to the player. They weren't earned or they weren't natural or whatever. And I I didn't really get that, but I just kind of got, okay. What did you play this post-patch? No. I, I don't think they've patched that part yet. I thought they did. I thought that came out. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, there's still a couple things in the game that, like, you can tell a lot of that was written, especially the second half of the game. Mm. You get, Like, the more important stuff. Yeah. You could tell that was written during when it was still called Versus 13. Because, mm. like, just how much of a shift the story goes. And it's even got to a point where, like, a lot of, like, even side missions I heard got, uh, they, they, they just... They just cut off or get unfinished. Um, like there's one where Gladiolus runs off for a bit. He yeah, says yeah, he has yeah. to do something. He never explains. No. He just comes back and expecting you to be like, all right, hey, you're back. All right, let's just. Yeah, it was something where he's like, oh, my sister called me. Uh, I got to get my mullet looked at. See ya. And he just kind of takes off and comes back later. I don't know. And then, but like nobody ever talks about it. Or no. Like it's just never happened. No. <laughs> I mean, there's some cool shit that happens in the story I was not expecting at all that I was like. Fuck, 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 fuck. Or, like, like, there's some characters, like, they expect you to, like, have, like, this background knowledge with, or, like, a past. They try to make, they try to make them seem important as if they're, like, one of the crew, but it's, like, I don't really... Yeah. Where were you all this yeah. other time? You gotta go somewhere? It's, like, uh, the, the one guy, Kor, I think. Kor? Shaved head? Is that his name? Kor? <laughs> a dumb name. I forget. He had, he had, a, he had a katana. And he helped I know you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, like, your first dungeon and all that. Yeah, yeah. Well, they played him up. I remember, like, all of the Versus 13 trailers showed he was, him he was, he was part of the main group. Yeah. Because there was five of them. Oh. In the old, like, promotional art, he was one of them. Interesting. And um, all of a sudden, he's, like, he's just there. He, you know, talks about, like, the past with, like, your dad and everything. And it's like, oh, I got to go, blah, blah, blah. I was like, who do you need to protect? My dad's dead. Yep. What do you, where, where are you going? What is so important right now to you that haircuts top priority Gotta is you know shaved. escorting the prince mm -hmm. think he should be with him <laughs> i mean you know, I know it's just, maybe he'll come back in the story but i don't i yeah, don't know I, hopefully i don't know if that stuff will get like touched up on or 
the end of this game sounds familiar to like what happens i never finished the game to really see how the story unfolded or how it did unfold but metal gear solid 5 i've heard very similar things where it just kind of like yeah Mm -hmm. this falls off a cliff Uh, because 5 got released unfinished Mm -hmm. yeah so there was like two chapters you can't play Hideo Kojima was like, I need like, the cutscenes exist. I need like seven yeah. more years on this game. <laughs> Kanan was like, no. Yeah. No, I'm not upset with it at all. Like yes. chapter thirteen was fine to me. It was just the ever it was stuff very point. long. You know, the, I heard it is the longest. You know the beginning part. I do know the beginning part. Do you do you reach? Are you reaching to that part? Is that a thing in, in the? I'm just gonna take that as a yes. I'm shrugging for the listeners who are not in the room. I mean, I figured it would, would or else why would they show that? I was about to say, what would be funny to show that scene and this never happens? And nothing ever happens. There's like, oh, look, here's yeah. Noctis with somewhat facial hair. Yeah. That's a thing. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, I forgot the best part about my journey with that. Was that um, at the end of it, after I quit the app and opened it back up, I was like, and I, once I had realized it did what it did, I was like, all right, I got to save it. Because I thought I should save a video clip of this so I can post it and say, the fuck? After I quit it and opened it back up, I went to go save the clip, and it saved a clip of that play session. And the previous 15 minutes were just gone. I was like, you fuck. Hmm. So I don't even have anything of it. Damn. It sucks. But I played Bayonetta 2, which is good. Oh, the second one. No. I'm... I don't oh, know you why played Bayonetta. Said... No, 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 no. You, yeah. T O O. Did you mean that too? When I said it, <laughs> my brain made me say the number two. But no, I didn't play that one actually. I I don't know why I felt. I played Bayonetta one. Yeah. Played a few chapters of it. I know the easy thing to comment on in this game is the combat, so I'll comment on the combat. It's really nice. Yeah. Platinum knows how to make a fun game, as expected. Again. After playing the Nier Automata demo, um, realizing that was my first Platinum experience outside of a Wonderful 101 demo, I was like, I should play something. I almost didn't get Bayonetta because I didn't want to, like, you know, spoil Nier before it came out. So you you know what I mean? Like, that yeah, genre. exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, but this one is completely different than Nier. I, yeah. Yeah. So I, I think this is one of their first games. I don't know. It's towards the top. I don't think it's their first. It's, no, it's it's this, one of their it's one of their earlier. This came out in 2010. Right? They started in 2006. Um, but it is one of their yeah. Uh, like well, at least at least it's one of their bigger hits. It is not their biggest. It is. Um, and I remember this being a big thing because I remember Chris buying it. Obviously, mm-hmm. uh, listeners, go back in time, listen to some old free cheese episodes. You'll you'll learn about Chris if you're unfamiliar. But he looks Chris looks just like Hideki Kamiya. So if you're trying to imagine <laughs> what he looks like. Imagine if, like, Vladimir Lenin and Hideki Kamiya became one person and <laughs> lost about a foot in height, and you got Chris. <laughs> um, but I remember Chris being super stoked about it. Dave being super stoked that she uh, was made out of hair. Just her whole... Basically. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. I, but I never, like, went any further than that. I was like, yeah, lady, glasses, hair pistols on her feet that pretty cool it. yeah mm-hmm. um but yeah really fun i i like a lot of there's a lot of games in this kind of like this is i wouldn't even call this a specific type of genre but like devil may cry like the and, i call it the action fighting genre but yeah but like that you know where like i call it I, the crazy genre right in this crazy genre <laughs> but you know how there's a thing where it's like you're getting S ranks and like mm. Devil May Cry did this a lot yes. when I played that. Right? Well, I mean, that's just a Capcom thing. True, true, true. But it also incorporates like a little bit of that, like there's a combo system in place. Yeah. And I always feel overwhelmed and I feel like inadequate because I'm like, I'm not good at this. I feel dumb. Something about this one doesn't make me feel dumb or whatever at all because I'm able to still do some pretty cool looking stuff with just button mashing and then the more i played it the more i was like oh there's a nuance to this i can punch punch kick mm-hmm. punch punch left kick punch punch side roll shoot kick and there's cool combos you can start to string together which like i'm learning it. mm-hmm. it's, it's fun uh, i forgot how cool witches are i think i might be going back through a little how witch phase here 
you just kind of you get away from witches for a little while. You stop uh, paying attention, but then something like this comes about, and you're like, witches are dope. Or you play Left for Dead. Different kind of witch there. But that's badass witch. That's a witch I don't want to. That's a swamp witch. I don't know if I like swamp witches. (laughs) That's a witch that can die in two shotgun shots. But just like you know what I mean. Plan it right, but if you don't plan it right, it gets bad fast. Like that's one of those. uh, Did you ever see the witch? Mm -hmm. No, I see. You've recently added that to the. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The spine collection over there. Yeah, that one. Like I've heard good things about that one. Oh my god, you need to watch it. I will watch it at some point. Oh, that was a great movie. That was one of my favorite movies of last year. You go watch uh, uh, that one, and there's like an old witch. Remember, you know what I'm talking about? That's a, that's more like a historical accurate, like. Yeah, and witch. that's the same thing with the the swamp witch, where it's just like an old scraggly one. I don't I don't need that. I, I want mean, a cool. The witch love for that's just a little girl. It is. Yeah. I don't know. In she's, my head, she doesn't like flashlights. <laughs> the memory of the one in my head is like she's covered in moss and swamp dust. Mm, I mean, in Left 4 Dead 2, you're in tongue. like a rainy level, but you're near a sugar factory, and that's why there's all these witches around there. Because there are all these little, they're, they're all little girls with white hair and are crying the whole time. They have bloody I was going to say, they're hands. crying. Oh, all right, God. never mind. That sounds cooler than I remember. Ooh. Yeah. I remember old swamp witches. Maybe the spitter. That's what I'm thinking of. With the pigtails? That's what I'm thinking of. Just the long neck? And just long, and yeah. they have that long tongue yeah. or something. Yeah. That's well, what no, I'm no. thinking of. The tongue is the choke, the uh, smoker. I that's what remember. I'm thinking of. That's a dude. Whatevs. Okay. That might be a swamp dude. You might be right there. Yeah, that one sucks. But witches are dope, <laughs> and Bayonetta is dope. Um, I don't. The story's so stupid too. It's like so dumb. It's like it's like Blade. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or like just <laughs> it's just stupid. It's there. It's just dumb. It's so dumb. I love it. It just. I think you'll appreciate. Is it like uh, let it die in a way? It's. It's dumber in yes, a different. Yes, okay. it, it definitely has like, that. It has uh, that wackiness to it. it. Yeah, it's goofy, but like, like it's a, it, it's a, ju- it's, it's a Japan game. <laughs> yeah, it's not so self-referential as Let It Die is, but it's more like, just the here it is. I, yeah, like, yeah, what it is. The, the merchant might be the most that, that does that. The merchant. You haven't went to the merchant yet. Oh, what I are you buying? He says that. Yes. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Uh, you're talking about just like, one time though, but like he 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 always makes references. Are you talking about Morpheus? Perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sunglasses. Yeah, I consider him to be no. He okay. just he okay. looked okay. like fucking. No, he's a guy that birth. he's a guy that like sells you like your upgrades. And, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, oh, but, I know like, you're talking about. Yeah, he works yeah, at the it. gates of hell. But like, but one time he'll just be like, "What are you buying, stranger?" or something oh, like that. It's so yeah. good, <laughs> so good. Yeah. It's really a it's a really really good game. I enjoy it. I think the ending you'll appreciate. I'm super fucking stoked. Like, I just want to play this whole... Like, I, I almost wanted to tell you guys not to come over tonight so I could play <laughs> as soon as I got home from work, but I obviously... That's mighty nice of you. Didn't. I know. It is. Next time, just, like, just just, just play just play it during an episode. You guys can record an episode, and I'll just play in the background. No, I mean, I mean you can no, still No, we'll talk. give you a microphone, and we yeah. still expect you to host, because we can't probably do the show. We, we just hear a joystick clicking. That's not a bad idea. Maybe when we come back from break, I'll just be playing Banana. It's very good. It's a rad game. Wish I would have played it before. I am kind of saddened every time I do something cool and I don't see a trophy pop because I'm playing it on Wii U and uh, PS3. But I also think it might be it might predate trophies, but I don't remember. Uh, 2009 is Bayonetta. Uh, but to back to what we were saying, this is their first game. Mad World on the Wii was their first game according to Wikipedia, followed by Infinite Space on the Nintendo DS, and then it looks like Bayonetta. With Vanquish the next year Vanquish. in 2010. Vanquish was good. I never beat yeah. it, but it was good. I yeah. have Vanquish because we got it. We got it for, yeah. for free. Vanquish was really good. I might have to it was a dope shooter. I have only cover I, base, I think. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, base, I, I, so I, good. I only played the demo. Quick. But yeah, you could just slide or butt slide it was, everywhere. It was a lot of fun. Now, this to is play. infinite butt slide. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. you're jetpack and just kick people. I might, yeah. I'm going to go through a little platinum uh, journey here. I think that'd be fun. Revengeance. I never play that. I so, wanted. I really so, wanted to. As, again, uh, like the, the story is like, d- it's it's not important. Yeah, it's not the focal point here. But are you both getting near? I am. I think so. Yeah. There's a lot. I still of stuff need to get Neo, out, man. You have to what? I still need to get Neo. Yeah. Who the hell? I've everyone. Heard, I have heard nothing, but is, is everyone? I've heard I've heard nothing everyone got Neo. Things. Like most of my friends' list is playing Neo. It's. Yeah, I got a couple mm. on my friends list playing. I want to get it. I want to. Yeah, 
But I, mm, I don't know. I can't do it. I'm going the other way though. Like I almost bought Mario Golf last night. I don't know what. Hey, the Mario Golf. Yeah, I can get behind that. I know. It turns into a platinum game. You're attacking people with the golf club. <laughs> it's so cool. Different clubs do different things. Oh, perfect. I'd love it. <laughs> platinum developer. Yeah. Okay. I'm in. Um, how about you guys? What uh, What'd you play this week? Who wants to go first? I'll go. Um, Ration and Clank. Play uh-huh. a game. Uh, yeah. yeah, I played play other games. And? It's good. It's uh, Your voice did that thing, though. But a, There are other things. No, but uh, you your want... voice... No, the way you said it's good, it had a thing in there. I'm very very good at reading uh, tone, my, my thing with Ratchet and Clank is... Yes. I was done playing Bloodborne for a day. Okay. <laughs> and then I decided... Man, I probably should get to the other Christmas gift I got. Sure. In February. Um, so I put in Ration and Clank, and man, is that a different game than Bloodborne. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, I had the, the very different feel. I had to get reacquainted with what another video game is. Mm. Um, and it took – it probably took a couple hours for me to finally like get – like this is Ration and Clank. Like this is what they do. This is different. But I really do like it. Mm-hmm. This is a cool little platformer. It's I don't remember the other Ration and Clank games at all. Uh, you played as a Lombax, it. and he had a little robot friend. Got it. So yeah. I meant the story. Oh, you meant the story. Yeah, I'm. Uh, as I'm going through it, there's because this is a, like a soft reboot in a way. I know none of these characters, and sure. so I'm like, oh, I'm so I'm enjoying this for the Quark. first time. Of course. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's it's very. Um, it, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Um, it knows shit. It, like it, it's self aware, uh-huh. very self aware of the fact that mm-hmm. it's a video game, that it's a soft reboot, and there's a movie coming out right next to it because it did come out the movie because yeah. they do stupid little references to the movie that's coming out or like oh we should do another reboot of this in three years like, like that was the quote from Ratchet at one point and I was like this is doesn't it share scenes from the movie as cutscenes? I have no idea because I've not seen a movie. So uh, have you watched the movie uh, yet? No. <laughs> it's on Netflix if you're interested. I did see it on Is it? Pop-up on Netflix, yes, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Instant? Yeah, right, I mean, not DVD, because that doesn't okay, yeah, so streaming. Yeah. So streaming. <laughs> yeah, streaming, yeah. Just but yeah. Um, no, it's uh, it's very good. It's a definitely platform. I love all the different weapons in that game, man. It's so fun. Like, the Groovatron, just dumb shit. What does that do? That's, make people make dance? It makes they people dance, up? and like it's like a stunning you effect. You can make the bosses dance, too. Yes, I've already made one boss dance, and it was quite hysterical. Hmm. But then, yeah, I mean, there's like there's your typical like, shotguns, and your like your machine guns, and like these area effect guns, stuff like that. I but know there's a chicken gun. I have oh. not gotten the chicken gun yet, but my favorite gun at the moment is kind of acts like a shotgun, so it's really effective. It's the retro blaster. Yeah, it so pixelates it every enemy when you shoot them. Mm-hmm. It's so good. Have That's you cool. ever played uh, Mad Hazard? No, I didn't. Who? Have not. It's this, like, really obscure, like, 360 PS3 game. Um, Will Will Arnett did the voice of the main guy. It's just, like, it's basically, like, a game parodying, like, third-person shooters. Sure. And he's just, like, this bald dude, generic-looking guy with guns, and the whole game is self-aware. And there's a level where it's, like, it's, like, Wolfenstein, where all the enemies are 2D sprites, and you have to, like, shoot them and stuff. And he has guns that make, like, the old, like, 8-bit mm-hmm. sounds and all that. It's awesome. That sounds <laughs> rad. Did anyone, does anyone remember the first game before I go on to say what I'm going to say next? I, like, I never played it, but I, I don't remember if Quark narrates the first game. That sounds right. Is he that probably right? Does. Is, okay. Because he narrates this game, and it's funny. Because I know he's like kind of a dick at first, I think. Yeah. Well, they the, the good thing they did in this game was they made – Clank and Ratchet, friends from the beginning. I do right. remember that. And that, it feels good. It's like, oh, these guys are in it together. There's no none of that weird relationship thing between those two. Um, but no, Quark is like, you know, you'll be running doing to the level and you might make like a right turn to like get some boxes and Quark's in the background. It's like, oh, but they decide to go this way, but they need to go this way. And, <laughs> and he good. just keeps doing like stupid crap like that. But it's so, like that. it's so, it's like cute. Yeah, that's yeah, probably yeah. the best way to describe it. But yeah. it is very good mechanically. The guns feel really well. Um, swinging the wrench. It's not swinging my saw cleaver, but it's it's very good. Um, that's all you're picturing, though, when you're doing it. 
let me you're tell you You're playing Ratchet and Clank, but your soul's playing I Bloodborne. struggled <laughs> the first hour in this game because I was not used to oh, the man. way the wrench swung. <laughs> That's what happens when you play 50 hours of Bloodborne in a row. How come it won't transform? Yeah. Where's, where's my stun gun? Where's my <laughs> blunderbuss? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I got started on that, but then um, I did put that down to uh, play, of course, more Bloodborne. So um, right, two weeks should. ago, I said I was right in front of this house of spiders that looked like a hellhole and all of my worst nightmares in this nice little area. So I finally beat that today. Oh. Got through it. Congrats. Beat some spiders. You know, it felt good. Today you finally beat that? Today. Oh, wait, I forgot to say I beat the game Right. About two weeks ago. And I'm going through it again. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm in the uh, the hunt, as one may say in this game, for a platinum trophy. Have fun. And we're almost there. We're like four hours away. Four or five hours away from being there. You're ridiculous. Let me tell you what. These challenge, these cha- chalice, not challenge, chalice, cha- God, I can't say the word. Can you? Chalice. chalice yeah. Dungeons. These things are a whole different beast. There's different enemies in here that you've never seen in the main game. Did you ever run through them? In the Chalice Dungeon? Yeah. I ran through at least the first one, if not part of the second. Uh, but that's... I, I barely remember. But yeah, yeah. There's all kinds of different enemy types in there. And mm-hmm. then, of course, there's more, like, spiders and things I don't like in there because they're dungeons. So right. I'm, like, it's facing just more, more uh, fears there. But, more, yeah. More um, reason to kill them. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, but I'm, I'm on my way to a Platinum. Um, I'm almost beat the game twice, which I need to do. Uh, there's a trick where I need to get the second inning with saves. I'll need to do that. Um, I did find out today I will need to at least start a third game. I missed a weapon, as in I got the weapon and then sold it uh, like an idiot, and it's a torch. Idiot! It's a torch. That's all it is. It's a torch. You can't get that back at all. Mm-mm, you can't buy it. You can buy a hunter's torch. Different. Wait, do you need to, wait, what? Do you have to have them all in your possession? Yeah, uh, the way the trophy is phrased, it, it seems like you need all the weapons in your possession at one time. Really? Are you sure? I feel like you just have to have Well, I haven't achieved, I haven't gotten the last we- I'm one weapon away from seeing them all or at least okay. having them. So, um that one's in a in a dungeon. And I know I said earlier I'm like two and a half dungeons away from getting the big trophy from the dungeons where you beat the boss in there. Um, that half a dungeon is I need to get to the second layer of one to get this weapon. Once I get the weapon, I'll find out Whether if I need yeah. the third. But I think that if I remember right, the torch is an old yarn on. That's just a gas coin fight, and then I can just run there. I don't need to worry about. But wouldn't you have then had to have had all the other ones, or do they carry? They into- carry over. Okay. The weapons carry over. It's the badges and the tools that don't, or the tool like the <laughs> auger of Ibritas, yeah, like yeah. that stuff. That stuff I don't think carries over. But I just got that trophy today. Okay, cool. But yeah, um, so I did play Ratchet and Clank for a few hours, but more Bloodborne, and uh, probably by this time next week, I will have a platinum trophy in my possession. You're ridiculous. I love it. I'm, I don't mean that in an offensive way. Please don't take that that way. I mean, like, fucking hats off. <laughs> Caps off, if you will. You'll probably And I've done it solo so far. I'm not called in another player. Yeah, which is also absurd as well. I'm proud of you. Look at that. Where the hell were you in 2015? <laughs> I, love it. I was playing Rocket League. I like I still you. like I, needed I, you. I was playing Rocket League and Fallout like a normal person was. Does your vote change? Rocket League, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, from Fallout 4 when uh-huh. I voted on the website right. to now, mm-hmm. it's still Rocket League. Even after all this? Oh, yeah. Damn. Damn. Thought we had you next time. Rocket League <laughs> is this beautiful, beautiful game. So you, since you've last because there's on. problems with Bloodborne and the fact that lies. All right, the, oh, everybody, no, you, you thank you for, in, you thanks stay. for joining us for episode 184. <laughs> we got to take off now. Matt has to leave my house. <laughs> wait till wait wait till like when mm-hmm. February 20th rolls around. Oh God, I'm so not looking forward <laughs> to that. We've only got a few fucking weeks until what's today? <laughs> the 12th. Fuck everything. <laughs> that's all right. That's before March third. I was gonna say, so. well, that week, that week will be a big episode because that's gonna be the Zelda week, Switch week, a Horizon week. I think I think something else comes out that week that I don't think anyone at this table will probably play. But 
there will be absolutely no conversation about Horizon while we're talking about our Switches. You you will ask me what I'm now playing, and the words out of my mouth will be Horizon Zero Dawn. Here's what's going to happen. We're going to record a bonus episode on like that Wednesday, so you can get the Horizon bullshit out of your system. Oh, we can do that. And not destroy... <laughs> oh, destroy. I thought this was just a conversational, whether we like the conversation or not. Not when Nintendo puts out a new console. You want to trash it with a trash garbage trash. That's <laughs> not going to be trash garbage trash. Oh, God. Mark, save me. <laughs> was that was that everything? I was going to get into problems, but evidently Joe doesn't want to hear those Go problems. Go on, God damn it. It's the, it's the obtuseness of not knowing what you need. Like, if I didn't read a guide, I would have been forever searching for the door for the Forbidden Woods. Mm. If I had not read a guide, I would have had no idea what the hell a one-third umbilical cord is and why the hell I need them and that there are different endings to this game. Uh, what was the other part well, I got stuck Have in? you seen uh, the famous movie Freddy Got Fingered? Mm. <laughs> oh, God. It's one of the greats. Yeah, I'm listening. Oh, You've got God. my attention now. Well, the umbilical cord is of use. That's true. That That's very true. It provides a great example. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Chew with your teeth and so now, baby so if, if you're making that <laughs> argument, so now you're saying that Freddy got figured is the prerequisite to this game. To Joe, yes. <laughs> I think Freddy got fingered arguably is the prerequisite <laughs> to anything in life. If we're, you know, talking turkey here. I mean, uh, they had cheese helmets. Right. You can't stop me with my cheese helmet. Oh, and then you know, have you gotten into the Chalice Dungeons? Like, I don't see two LeBarons, Freddy. Are there two LeBarons? I only see one LeBaron, Freddy. X-ray The dungeons packed. are a mess. See, see through, through wooden, wooden doors. doors. <laughs> you got the job, buddy. You got the job. And the beavers started... All right, go on. <laughs> it's been so long, I remember... I remember everything. I'm right, glad you do. Let's go it, watch that after the this. The movie's a prerequisite to the free cheese. That is correct. That's absolutely correct. Well, it's a good thing you've seen it. Because if I had just learned now that you hadn't seen it, we would have stopped, watched it, <laughs> dropped, rolled, and then come back. See, I saw it probably at an age that was probably very not appropriate. We for all me. did, and then we grew up with it. We're <laughs> better for it. I my mom to see that. Oh, my God. <laughs> and my mom's a saint. <laughs> it's... The like, movie's fine. Because cause, it's because when he saw it, he needed an adult to buy the <laughs> My favorite thing. We're going to go to Freddy Got Finger Tangent. My favorite part of that movie is when he comes back and he sits down and they're eating meatloaf and he's got a chicken sandwich yeah. and his dad's just, what are you doing? Your mom made roast beef. I just want my chicken sandwich. I'm going to eat a chicken sandwich, dad. I, I got a chicken sandwich. I'm just going to have a chicken sandwich. Your mother ate, your mother made roast beef. You're going to eat the roast beef or you can not eat it at all. I'm a 28-year-old man. I can eat a chicken sandwich if I want to eat a chicken sandwich. I'm going to eat a chicken sandwich. <laughs> Mike Fitzgibbon's son is a nuclear physicist, and my son can eat a chicken sandwich. <laughs> he throws <laughs> in the fucking dogs. What the fuck, Dad? <laughs> God damn it. Hello, Tom Green. God, the last time I saw that movie, Blockbuster Video was a thing. Oh, man. The last time I saw a Blockbuster Video, there was a car driven through the front of it. Matt, tell me more <laughs> about why... The, tell me more about the Chalice Dungeons. Oh, the Dungeons, um, just, if I didn't have a guide, I'd be doing 13 of these things, but I'm doing the bare minimum five and a half. I'd be curious to hear a story of someone who was able to play through that game without looking anything up. If only someone did, someone had to write these guides, right? I, I, the devs. Yeah, like, really, like, I don't, that's <laughs> it. I, I don't know. I guess that in the end, at the end, like, it is a video game. If you just, like, push it to the limit. And uh, get to every, you know what I mean. You could. It's like a process of elimination. It's just a lot of time. Yeah, but there are like still weird things being discovered in that game to this day. Yeah, and I was about to say, even on my second playthrough, me knowing where I need to go, me just trying to get to where I need to do so I can do these dungeons and just get these weapons. I found like three other things I never found the first playthrough. Like I found the spider uh, in mm -hmm. the lecture hall that talks. Like I immediately, uh, yeah, I immediately saw. Him. I was like, oh, oh you're dead, you're dead, yep, you're dead, yep, and he yep. started talking. And I was like. But, but what are you doing? I took a picture of it. I never sent you the screenshot. I was like, what, what, what the fuck am I playing? The best game of the Yeah, the spider has a head, and it's, it's a human head, and mm. it talks to you. I'm just, I'm just, and it's talking to me, and every instinct wants me to, to kill it and be rid of this demon. Mm -hmm. you, you're like, absolutely. But then, I'm like, still. I don't know. I let it. <laughs> I, I said, uh, he was some bullshit conversation. I think I apologized to him for hitting him. I don't know. Mm. 
But yeah, the point is, I've been finding a couple other things in this game that I never knew existed. Yeah. Part of it was because the guys told me I had to go there, but yeah. Mm. Like Killer Mother Brain, then Nightmare Mensis. Like, you right. gotta get the living string, which I need for the final dungeon. I love this shit. I'm so happy about this. <laughs> like, I, yeah, that, that thing was creepy as I was whacking away at it for like, it felt like five minutes. That new game plus really bumped its health up. Wait, with what? Rom? No, not Rom. Who? I killed Rom twice. But actually, three times now. First playthrough, second playthrough, and once in a, as a chalice dungeon boss. Fucking god. Um, no. Um, the the big the big brain that you pull a lever, a nightmare immense. Oh, yeah, 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 and it drops yeah, yeah. down to this gotcha, dark gotcha, gotcha, tavern. Gotcha. Yeah, it's hacking away at this brain that does nothing. <clears throat> yeah, I almost started that up last night when I was like, eh, I got two hours kill for Bayonetta. Blood. That's why. And then I was like, I gotta finish. 15. That's why I can't play Let It Die still. That's why like Neo intrigues the hell out of me. Yeah. But I, I no, I yeah. can't do it. That's a game that'll be more digestible for you too because it's not open world. I saw some of the UI in that. It looks like more like you pick the quest and you kind of go for it. I mean, like everything, like each chapter has its own little digestible map. Yeah. So they're not all interconnected. So it, it's not as overwhelming, I guess, with like missing like secrets and stuff. You it's can, not that it's missing secrets of Bloodborne. It's that you don't know what to do with right. stuff. And you're and in my case, I was scared to use it because I didn't know if it was yeah, the, yeah. the wrong time, if I, I ever see it again. Yeah. But, yeah, that's... Uh, I did that, like, with the shining coins where it's, like, you, when the daylight returns, you, there might be a use for it. I, I didn't was, use, like, one shining coin the entire run because I was I like, was terrified. Money. And then, but they're worthless, aren't they? They don't do anything. Yeah, they're, they're actually excellent to use in Chalice Dungeons to for? backtracking. Because they end up being, like, not mazes, but uh. there's all these different hidden corridors and stuff that you... What do you do with the coins? Bullshit. Just drop them as, like, a mark for the the ground. They're yeah. nice and shiny, especially in the dark uh, dungeons. Uh. And you can, you can see. Can you pick them back up? You can, I think. Oh. Hmm. Okay. They're nice oh. for backtracking in the dungeons. That's where I have been using them. That's what this for Minecraft. I always put torches on the left side to know mm. I'm going the right way. Because then if they're anywhere else, I'm like, all right. Going backwards. Oh, that's good. That's actually really <laughs> that's smart. Clever. Very clever. Yeah. Enough about Bloodborne. I'll wrap it up next week. Shit. Before I download the <laughs> DLC as soon as I get the platinum to get those trophies. Now I'm going to have to go platinum <laughs> this fucking thing. Because I can't... What, can't have him out Bloodborne yet? It's not that. It's just like I want to... You know what I mean? I want to be... If you... I started a new game plus not knowing I wanted the platinum the game. I just kind of wanted to play more. Yeah. And um, Isn't I that... kind of shot myself in the foot starting a new game plus because i could have easily wrapped this up 20 hours ago you said play more isn't that sony's like slogan if i it if i said it that that was totally like, by accident yeah <laughs> that <Or> was like <laughs> playing some greatness i don't know greatness awaits greatness awaits i thought play more was one of them chicken sandwich it might have been uh, <laughs> cheese helmet i'm trying to think daddy what's, would you like what's moriarty's sausage? middle name um Colin something Moriarty. What is Greg? That's that's the one of the other slogans for PlayStation. I can't think of it. It only does everything. It only does everything. That's it. Oh. That was an old PS3 one. That was back in yeah. the Kevin Butler days. Mm. Yeah, that was fun. And then yeah. uh, he left the company and got sued. He sure did. <laughs> can't make those Bridgestone commercials. <laughs> With a Wii in With the background. Wii. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's like, what? Guy. I'm an actor. Yeah. Who cares? And he's like, you're in a commercial with a competitive. Th-. Yeah, they got him. Yep. Poor guy. Poor guy indeed. Are you a poor guy or are you a guy who plays video games? Both. Fantastic. Don't tell me about the poor part. Tell me about the video game part. <laughs> the only poor part was the crow and seagull fighting over a condom. That's right. <laughs> what you... happened with video games? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, played some more Fire Emblem Heroes. Okay. How are we feeling about that? Did um, you get it yet? No. I'm I just been trying to like busy playing Bloodborne. <laughs> just been trying to like level up my characters because it's been getting kind of tough. Um, I'm on chapter. Let me look it up. I forget. How much more money did you spend this week? Actually, I didn't spend any. Oh, there we go. Good job. Thanks um, for stream. Or if I did, it was like three bucks. Um, no, it's not. I'm, what was it? Fifteen last week? Yes, <laughs> it was. And we're all judging still. 
I don't know why this is a big deal. Let the man spend his <laughs> let the man spend his money. I'll probably sink twenty dollars in Rocket League at this point. Money. That's what I say. I'm on chapter eight, part three. Nice. Is that that's past where we talked about yesterday, right? Uh, um. Yes. Cool. Uh. It's in. It's back to awakening. So it, the shadow looks like Lucina. Damn right it is. Can't, can't exactly tell, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But yeah, uh, there was a little event. Like sometimes they have like little maps that you can play that are temporary for like a couple hours yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatever. You can get the characters if you beat them, right? Yeah. Uh, got my main girl out of that. Um, Felicia. Damn straight. You can... just been trying to level her up because yeah. I don't have. Is that who orbs. you were going for when you were grabbing all the orbs last week? Yes. Got her... Did you get her? I never got you never her. Never got her. No, I got I got Setsuna, so she's my other. She's my number two. Yeah. But. Well, right now she's my number one because Felicia isn't strong enough. But yeah, uh, that I'm. How do you spell Felicia? B A E. Yeah, or W A I F U. Got it. Got it. Got it. Right. Yeah. Um. So <laughs> weird English there. <laughs> no. It's no. Fine. It, yeah. It's, it's, it sound it out. It'll, you'll yeah. be okay. <laughs> B- Felicia. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um. Uh, from there, you know, just the uh, usual. Um. Overwatch with my friends. Wait, I don't care about Overwatch yet. Tell me more about Fire Emblem. <laughs> no, I want to hear about Overwatch, but more Fire Emblem. I have questions what, 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 about this. Oh, well, I didn't know. What, what? What's up? Um, I don't remember any of the questions anymore. <laughs> okay, great. Did you get the Lucina mask in Mitomo? Is... I did. Okay. But that was part one. Part two, who's your team right now? You've got... Who do you got? Oh, okay. Setsuna? Yeah, Setsuna. Um, Felicia. She's not in there right now. <sighs> she's not strong enough. Off. She's yeah. only level twelve. Pitch. He's got, a, he's got uh, everybody day. else is. You're not. So you're not going back through the. Like, because I was considering doing that, just starting back at the beginning, um, just to work through all those chapters again. I'd right? rather go through training because you get more experience. Oh, cool! They, I didn't oh, know. They, they limit the experience if you play through a map already in story. Oh, mm. dumb. And now, question: Well, um, you're not done the story, but I, you, you will be before I am. You only get orbs after your first time through a story chapter, correct? Yes. So then after that, how do you get orbs? Uh, daily logins, you get two orbs. Okay. You get another orb on weekends if you log in. All right. Um, there could be other challenges or maps of other heroes that gives you orbs if you beat them. Okay. Or you can buy them. Or, or like the money maybe. thing. Got it. Um, so my second member is Kata. Who's Kata? Can I see a picture? I think she is uh, whatever, whatever game that Marth is in. That might be her. I mean, his. How do you spell that? W. Female interest. I was going to say, she actually she doesn't look that uh, promiscuous. Yeah. No, no. She she, she, she's classy, pretty cool. She rides short a skirt, um, short dress. She, she rides a Pegasus. Oh. Now, if you're if you're you're not seeing anything promiscuous there, Matt, maybe you could look her up on your phone. If you oh. go to B I N G. No, I'm not going to. Com, uh, I see because I know I know I think Marth had a sister and I don't know if, I don't think that's her. Might be her. Matt, can you go to bing dot com and type in I'm Marth's g- sister? So Google dot com. <laughs> no, she's she is uh she she's Marth's friend. I type friend? in Google dot com like friend. Well, she befriended like, Marth. Is that like how Dad got a new friend, when, or is that like what's <laughs> pretty much? Uh. What's, what's, the, what's okay. the the pretty lady's name? W, A, <laughs> oh, I, I apparently I'm pronouncing it wrong. I think it's Sheeta. Sheeta, but it's C A E D A, like uh, the Mortal Kombat lady with four arms. She she da she, no, I don't know. Right? Is that trying to tell me how to announce it correctly? Sheeta. Yeah, that, that sounds right. Yeah. Weird. All right. Princess of. Talus, daughter of the first king, Mostin. She befriended Marth of Altea during his two-year exile to Talus in the War of Shadows. So yeah, I guess it becomes a love interest, I assume. Which games he was, rather, was his game ever released in North America? The first game was remade on the original DS called Shadow Dragon. Got it. Oh, that's the one I believe is on um, Wii U Virtual Console. Maybe. Or that might be Sacred Stone. Or maybe both. I don't remember. <laughs> maybe. Um, how about so? How tell me about like is combat still doing it for you? What's what's keeping you going? <laughs> Honestly, I just want to beat it to see how far it is. Yeah. And then I just want to 
just have Felicia be my strongest character. But apparently there's a tier list and some characters are broken. Mm. So I really don't see the point after beating it. I probably won't play it much after that. I'll probably go back to Fates. Yeah. Which I tried to jump back into and then yeah. played Mario Golf instead. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. No, um, you're right. Just get the other members out of the way. I still have the Dragon Lady, uh, Nawi. Nawi. Who do and, I have? And uh, Cecilia. She's like a mage on a horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that, that's my main team. They're between like levels 18 to 20. Yeah. Not bad. Um, yeah, the combat I noticed, like if nobody has played the other, like any of the mainstream Fire Emblems. I've played them. You notice that uh, you don't get critical hits really in, in this. Oh, in this? Like in Heroes? Uh. Like y- you do, but it's through like after like a chain or they have like a special ability or something. Sure, sure. Um, there's no evasion. You can't dodge right. moves. Everybody just takes a hit no matter what. No matter how fast you are, the speed only determines if you get to attack twice in one turn. Hmm. Which I don't... I I like evading. That's a cool thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, your characters can't team up. What's the thing if you drag over your own character? Like, there's... So just a boost or... Well, some, some characters have abilities that can help your other allies if sure. you put them next to them. Like, you can raise their defense or you mm. can heal them or raise their attack. Like, but you can't, like do like a team up attack or anything hmm. so. i think the team up thing was new in like awakening or something uh, maybe always, it is i don't, I don't know. know i don't know for sure yeah but... i haven't played any you know, like older ones so i don't know but yeah um I, i'm starting to see the maps start to repeat themselves dude i mean even in the first few chapters even though the the like backdrop is different it was mm-hmm. still just like okay you're on one side of a bridge we're on the other here we go now you know there's not much strategy in that way it's mm-hmm. more like, really, the, the most difficult thing about this, and I wouldn't even call it difficult, is can I move this guy from this corner up to that corner before... Like, I, And I, even then, like, there's not... Even when I've been, like, outmatched or whatever, where it's like... And you can't move through characters either. Right, right, right. But even when there's been, like, oh, I, I need to get my red guy up there and take out their green guy before their blue guy gets down and hits my red guy. Their blue guy gets down, hits my red guy, and my red guy's like, uh, all right... I'm not dead though, so I'll I'll just fight back. And even though red's not stronger against blue, I, I can still take him out pretty easily. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm not. It's fine. It's it's just one of those like filler games, like yeah. It's a game like I'm not even taking it serious. I'm just like, all right, like I, now I got to the point where I did turn off all the animations. I'm like, just want to get through yeah. it. And... But if you are someone who's into that gotcha thing, um, this is a game for you. <laughs> and I I, I really into the gotcha thing. No, people love that shit, man. Yeah, like, and and this, this is actually like a well polished one. And and that's what I was gonna say. Like and if, again, mostly because there's no ads. Yep, there's zero ads. If you're into like if you like puzzles and dragons or any of the other things of that nature, well, this is fucking dope. Yeah, see, puzzles and dragons that's, that's a little different. I know, but it, but it still has that same like gotcha thing. There's a lot. Yeah, it definitely has those elements in there of like battling stuff. But right. yeah, that's just the one is like connect four games. Gameplay, yeah, gameplay is different. But I mean, like if if just, Rather, if you like Puzzles and Dragons for the yeah. capsule True, mechanic. True, because um, I was playing that Digimon game right. before, and that's pretty much this. Yeah, it's that kind of thing, but this one's really, really well done. The art's really nice. It's it's very, very well produced, and yeah. zero ads. No garbage. You don't have to see any fucking stupid Mariah Carey wearing a loincloth, Total War, hot <laughs> trash, missile command shoot everyone sit, the- sit through this commercial yeah congratulations you are in five yeah <laughs> but uh if i mean for for a mobile game it's yeah it's not bad they're not going away so yeah. i'm okay with it tell me on overwatch uh it's 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 fine <laughs> you know i'm just still getting used to everything on there um not much really changes with that yeah they did add capture to flag how are... We were just talking about this. Literally, um, we were talking about it. Then the day after, I think they added it. Yeah, mm. and the here's the thing though, it's shit. Oh. Like we kind of the you predicted. Yeah, like, I thought you like, would yeah, say. Yeah, it makes yeah. sense. Yeah, it's um, it's not OG captured a flag. It's not hey, let's get the enemy's flag and bring it to our flag to get the point. Mm. No, you can just have one flag to get the point. It doesn't matter if yours is back at your home base or not. 
So you could just take each other's and just keep running to the other side without defending yours to like get a point. Oh, so both flags are neutral. You just have to get from point A to point B. Yeah. Oh, wow. And the maps are very like they're not arena based. It's like I mean they're small. They're like a little too small, actually. Like, oh, because they had to completely change the map. Basically, you, know, the you could be Zenyatta, turn on your ultimate, grab the flag, constant heal, like heal yourself all the way back to your base. Yeah, that's broken. This all makes so much sense to me. I don't know who Zenyatta is. Zenyatta is like one of the healers because okay. the, the cat- characters are categorized into four classes: healer. So like you, you have your attackers, your Tanker. defenders, your tanks, and your healers. Waifu. Yeah. Yeah. Mercy. Oh. oh. Mm. I thought it was Tracer. No, no. Yeah, they're all too. No, for you it'd probably be Mercy's Halloween outfit because she's a she's like a witch. Sold. So, <laughs> but yeah, Zenyatta's all... sold to the man in black. Z- Zenyatta is a robot monk, and he hovers around and he shoots metal orbs at people. Dalsim, basically, but instead okay. of stretchy arms, it's orbs. Okay. But then when you get his ultimate, where this makes sense at is you're the person with you. He. Uh, he does like this everlasting healing, ultimate healing kind of AOE like a- effect. Yeah, yeah. Um, and if you're in the circle, like you just are constantly being healed at yeah, a you, very fast, fast rate, so you really can't die. You're mm-hmm. just invulnerable. It's long enough where if it's a small map, you probably could get from point yeah. A to point B. And you move faster when you're in that mode. Exactly. Too. Yep. Mm-hmm. So yeah, this game's still like broken as fuck with a lot of things. Um, but you're having fun. You're playing it. I mean, yeah. If it wasn't for my friends, then then yeah, probably wouldn't give a shit. But it's something to play. Yeah, I saw you playing it, and I was going like, oh, I wonder if I should maybe <laughs> hop in. Nah, I'm going to play Bloodborne. Mm. I mean, feel free I was, to. I was going to message you and ask, sure. but I was like, nah, I got a dungeon to run. <laughs> and that was something you played on a television, correct? Wait, what? You, you played that game looking at a TV. Yeah. Is there anything you might have played this week that didn't involve a TV necessarily, but maybe a screen that you strapped to your face? I'm getting there. I know. I'm real excited to hear Get about it, though. Save that for last. Oh, you fuck. Sorry, two games away. Uh, t- Teeny bit of Overcooked again. I, we almost played it the other day. Because the next level. Uh, yeah, and by yeah. we almost played that, I mean, I don't think I said it to you, but I saw it and thought in my head, we should play that. <laughs> like, we're at the one stage where we need 44 stars, and we uh, have 43. Uh, so we're trying to go back to a level that we weren't so great at and maybe try to redeem ourselves. Yeah. Uh, so you weren't doing our strategy that day where we were just three star or nothing no right? some no. were just like one or two like fuck it we good enough good, yeah. let's go I, yeah um, I, can, I totally so we tried going back and it didn't work did not yeah. work um so we just quit that that was a hot like five minutes yeah like alright let's 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 try something new that's tough to get back into after you dropped it for a little bit and yeah um I can't say that I that, that, that I that I miss it I don't miss Overcooked that much it's yeah. fine mm-hmm. you know but it's like it's not enticing interesting Overcooked is like a snack. Ah. It's not a meal. What's a meal? That's coming up. <laughs> um, so if anybody is a PlayStation Plus member, there's some new free games this month. There are. Four. Technically. Technically, technically six. Because of the oh, right. Technically six, but no one has a PS3 anymore. Right. So these are one of those cross-buy ones. I you probably download off the PlayStation Store. Yeah, what are you going to play it on? Nerd. Oh, uh, I thought you were saying all six are crossed by. I didn't know that. No. no. Uh, yeah. T- okay, I got gotcha. you. So, uh, Star Wall. Star Wall. Narwhals in space. Yeah. It's basically... Nah, no, I'm it's, not. It, it, it can, it, it's like a, The controls are very loose, like loosely based on like asteroids. Okay. And it's like a type of like jousting game. You pretty much just have to try to pierce the other person's, the other Star Wall's heart. And it, you have, like, lives, so it's, like, you know, it's just, el- just elimination rounds, just yeah. trying to get each other, and you just boost around the stage, and it's, like, all the stages are based on these other planets, like, you have, like, a, you know, uh, Earth is a frozen planet, mm-hmm. you have a Cthulhu planet, mm-hmm. you have a lava mm-hmm. planet called Magnus, mm-hmm. that was Very my good. favorite. Yeah, as it should be. Um, you know, you have, like, your typical, like, grassy one, but, yeah, they're, they're just they're background aesthetics, but then um, there's... The levels also give you different obstacles. Like, uh, one will have like little trampolines. One, some can be very slippery. Uh, some have like wind tunnels that fly you through stuff. Uh, multiple costumes. It's very funny. Uh, I was literally Chun Li. Yeah. <laughs> I had How... a little headpiece, the little little skirt outfit. Jesus. 
just on a normal awesome. body. Yep. Uh, yeah, that makes more sense. Uh, uh, my friend Charlie had a bear for mm. a head. Okay. Uh, it was a mask, but you could see the normal horn sticking out. Perfect. And he had a burrito for his torso. So uh -huh. he was a burrito. Uh, oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make this game? I think so. Oh, okay. In my sleep, sounds, probably. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a really good... That's just a fun little game to play with your friends. I nice. think that's something we should probably record in the future. I... Yes. Or like a... I'm not saying... I yeah. was about to say we should do that tonight, and I was like, no, we don't time tonight. <laughs> but I, yes, we, we should and, and could and will. Yeah, that's... It, it, it's cool. I like it. How many players? It goes up to four. Fantastic. We have three. Look at that. Good. Sometimes four. Very good. <laughs> um... Yeah, not much to really say on that. It's a pretty bare bones like, uh, game. It's pretty simple. How close is it to Nidhogg? That's what I was thinking. Yeah. It has the but fun the, competitiveness of Nidhogg. But uh, then the Gaunt and November jokes were going to come and then... But that's that's pretty much it. Like, um, like aesthetic-wise, it, it has its own thing. Mm -hmm. It's not really like retro Atari sprites fighting each other. This is all like just everything is neon glowy grid, eighties looking in space. But that's cool looking too, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the the music's not bad either. I like it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much for that. Then they get to the, the course, the whole the main meal, the meat and the potatoes. What kind of potatoes are you eating, boy? I'm eating those the virtual reality potatoes. Oh. Uh, in Resident Evil Seven. Oh. Uh, nah. Who no, boy? I can't, no, I, I'm yeah, never no, gonna be you able to could do not. It. There's no way. There's <laughs> part, no. The part that I just finished, you you could not do. There's no way. Tell me more of this Resident Evil Seven. So I think I'm about almost halfway through. I'm like maybe forty percent. Uh huh. Because I spent about four or five hours. Um. I. I quote killed, Jack, the dad. Spoiler! I say quote because I don't believe he's ah. dead. Uh, That's why it's okay. not a spoiler. They make you think he's dead, mm. but if you know these kind of games, I say, there's you been know seven of these games where they're never this dead. This guy rammed his head through a steel beam in a garage. This guy shot himself in the head. There was no way that I could have done anything worse than what he's done to himself. Mm. I just don't believe it. All right, I, hey, time um, will tell, won't it? Yeah, um, but I beat two bosses. Not literal time, Matt. <laughs> I was like on the stand goal. I'm trying to get my challenge today. Uh, let's, some of the weapons are pretty neat that I've come across. There was a chainsaw. Classic. Uh, that was fun. Classic. Enemy had the chainsaw. Or you had a chainsaw. Both. Got it. Well, no, it was more so me. But mm -hmm. but yeah, like it was it was definitely one of those fights. Mm. Um. Mm -hmm. Let's see the second boss. Was mm. like something out of John Carpenter's The Thing. Oh, good, 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 good. Cool. But everything was spider themed. So Perfect. I mean, I ah. expect nothing. I expect <laughs> nothing less from this game. It was just a grotesque crawling around. The, the stomach is like the butt of the spider. Essentially, is yeah. chasing you around. And VR. Oh my god! Like this game looks like a boring first person horror game without VR. Sure. But with it, it was just something about it, just being inside of it. Are you having a similar effect that you did with, or experience that you did with Job Simulator, where you're kind of like just losing yourself in it and feeling almost, like you're, you know, almost. I didn't like, I didn't completely like fall for like any objects, yeah. you know. But in the, but I did almost fall for it a sense of like I am peeking around corners, I am on edge, you know, because you can't do that in, with the in the without VR. You can't just mm -hmm. peek around a corner and then maybe like pick something off because like those black right. venomous creatures yeah um i like i open up a door like if you just tap x it just only opens it a little bit hmm. so i'm like looking around i'm like or is there anything in there and then i like the wall next to me i'm peeking around that corner and apparently i triggered one of those enemies didn't they didn't make a noise i just saw the head and i just headshot him just sniped him right through the door and i nice. backed up and like ran away to give myself some space so. are you you're using bullets pretty regularly or because i my understanding was that they're pretty scarce uh well i'm using i mean handgun bullets I, i've been i've been pretty accurate mm. with my shots so you have to aim with the vr headset oh, so like yeah you can hold an l2 to like focus the the crosshair but you have to look like with your headset to like make sure it's there on spot. Hmm. So 
You sitting? You standing? I'm I'm standing. You're a standing boy. Because sitting makes me feel like a giant. Oh, because he's walking. Because uh, yeah, he's standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm standing. Got it, got it, got it. So things are a little bit, I mean, they're not like one-to-one mm-hmm. ratio, like real life size, but it's close enough. Where your brain... Yeah, to where like, to like, yeah, like my mind is comfortable with this. Are you... Um, so I feel like I'm like a couple inches shorter than what I am. Okay. Are you... Is it jump scares? Are you getting spooked? There, there are parts where they try to set you up for it, but I see it coming because I'm just a horror buff, so... I see that like a mile away. Like there was one where, you know, you enter this kid's bedroom. There's a ball rolling. Everything's dark. Matt, just, just, Matt has just noped. He's you have just, a, you just have a flashlight. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's our only light source. Sure. So wherever you look around, there's, there's a teddy bear on a rocking chair. You could pick up the teddy bear to examine it. Like all the other Resident Evil items. So uh-huh. you're just looking around. But all of a sudden you look at it and it starts uh, oozing black stuff from its cool. face. And it starts getting like infected. I'm like, all right, Teddy Ruxin, I'm putting you down. Yeah. Nothing happened. Matt, come back. Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, <laughs> sorry, he's gone. Man. <laughs> um, Yeah, and then there's like this little, there's a dollhouse next to it, which is the replica of the mansion, yeah. I believe. Yeah, uh, uh, that's cute. You can open it up, and there's a little map in there, and it tells you, here's a secret doorway. Where I'm like, I can see the outline of the wall. You have to, you have to crouch to get through this. So, oh, yeah, so how are the puzzles? Um, Speaking of maps. They are very Resident Evil. Yeah, very traditional good, 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 good. with that like you know you have to take an object put it in a light ma- make the shadow match whatever's on the picture to open up a, a, nice. a wallway whatever you get those themed I keys saw take... that well the, um giant bomb yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick look, that's what it, yeah. take note of this because get, get uh, scorpion we'll key. have to remember these puzzles come october when we play this in vr good thing so i uh i started watching the game Grum- i haven't gotten far into their series yet but i'm watching the game grums play and i'm still mm-hmm. like I got it on the monitor, but I'm like leaning back in my computer chair, just kind of like. <laughs> if you oh want, God! If, don't turn the corner. Yeah, if you want like a more like, if you want like more commentary on it with a comedic twist, uh, I mean not that like Game Grumps isn't comedic, but, um, their friend um Chris O'Neill goes by Oni. It's mm-hmm. like he's an animator, voice actor. Um, go by if you if you watch his like Oni plays, he he he's been playing Resident Evil and he he switched to VR like midway mm-hmm. through and just like the. Like they, they're pretty much like almost breaking the game. Just all the dumb stuff that they're doing. I will say they're not though, taking it seriously. Without <laughs> the VR headset on my thing, they are playing it in VR. And mm-hmm. he, um, the way they have their microphones up, he has to play on the couch. But like when he's leaning, I kind of catch myself leaning just yeah. a tiny bit. It's cool like, being able to like, it's cool being able like peek here? through stuff. Hmm. If there's like a shelf unit in front of you and you can see through, it, it's like, whoa. Yeah, what 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 lies <laughs> ahead? Yeah. Um. Well, yeah. Right. Nope. Now we're gonna play it. Hmm. Has Sounds that sold great. you on VR? Not literally. I know you don't buy I mean, one yet, but I mean, I mean, I've always loved the idea of VR. Uh, I, I was always supportive of it. I've, I just wish it was cheaper. Yeah, yeah. Or else I would have one. Yeah. I just wish I liked horror games. Because I mean, <laughs> that VR from the get go, mm-hmm. like it was a horror person's nightmare or dream. dream. I say, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My but, nightmare. <laughs> I think they're starting to pop back up. Like I saw one in Target. I saw two of them in Target last night, and I was like. Yeah, I heard that they were restocking the PlayStation VRs. Like I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see if the landscape changes before Switch. Like I got, you know, I'm kind of saving money in a way for a Splatoon two buy with mm-hmm. the Switch. But if if like E3 changes the landscape for me and yeah. I see some stuff, like I might use that money for VR. Then just like on Christmas time, might buy myself the Switch for Mario. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like if like if I, if I had the Vive. I would, I would only be talking about VR games. Yeah. On here. Yeah. <laughs> we could get one. Uh, Probably. Yeah. Pitched in towards it or something. You need a rig, though. Yeah, you got, like, the sensors. Oh, well, look at this. I say, I got... mean, you need a tower, like a computer, you yeah, need yeah. a rig. Just got an email from an African prince. <laughs> oh, what was that? Oh, cool. Ten grand? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> but, yeah, you, but you have the themed keys. The scorpion key, there's like a crow key, there's a snake key. Get over here. Uh, to open those doors, yeah. But yeah, the puzzles are definitely there. It definitely, it's, it's like, I'm getting more into it of making it feel like a Resident Evil game now. Because nice. before it was just like a horror game yeah. with Resident Evil's name. Hmm. And now it's like, all right, now I'm But then in you this. step through that door. Yeah, like, like, like everyone's been saying. It has, like, yeah. like, it has expanded. Like, you start off with that house in the demo, there's another house. Like, there's more. There's way more to this. That's dope. I like it. 
Very dope. Very, 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 very dope. And I'm only playing this at my friend's house in VR, and I refuse to play it any other way. That's from my understanding. That's the only way to play. Like, if, like if I if somebody gave me the game to play at home, you throw it in the trash. I'd be. I would just sit there. Yeah. I'm like I'm. I'm sorry. I can't. Yeah. I can't. Sorry. <laughs> can't do it. Not unless you give me that headset. Yeah. Maybe someone will give you both. Oh. Like Santa. Yes, <laughs> dear Santa, it's time for a break. We're <laughs> gonna take one, and when we come back, Matt has prepared some lightning round style questions for Mark and I in regards to the Switch event. We're going to answer those questions, and then everything that Matt didn't ask us, we're going to tell you about everything. Their hand, arms on impression ha. of the Switch. You did on purpose, didn't you? I don't know. We'll never find <laughs> we'll out. We'll never know. I'm the only one that knows that answer. She won't know. She won't know. Damn. We'll be right back. Back to the free cheese, episode 184. Mark and I went to New Donk City. And here we are, back from New Donk City. It was donk as heck. It was donk as heck. Before we get into our full-on impressions, we're going to go into a little something called... Lightning Round. Matt. Yes. You've prepared some questions for us. I did. You're going to ask them rapid fire style. I will. Mark and I are going to answer them. First thought. First. Most of these, probably one word, maybe two, three words at All right. most. Um, I will start off. Well, I have a couple. There's the et cetera ones where you probably name something. Mm. I have the yes or no questions. Okay. And then we have the one through ten on a scale. Um, 10, I will say, you'll get the gist of what I'm doing with this. 10 being, like, the best, mm -hmm. whatever, 1 being the worst. Okay. With that said, I'll start with those. You're going to start with the scale questions. I'm going to start with the scale questions. Right. These are in no particular order. I've just been randomly adding to this list. Okay. So they seem that they're as I'm asking in a weird way. I do apologize. Right. That's what it hey, is. You fire when ready. All right. On a scale of 1 to 10, how good does Zelda look on the Switch? Ten. Not applicable. That, that's a, that's one game we didn't play. Yeah. <laughs> we saw it there though. It's all right. It looks, it looks good. It still looks nice. I, I'm giving it a ten. I'm biased. Sure. Ten. <laughs> Love that. How comfortable are the Joy Cons on scale one to ten? Uh. How what? How comfortable are holding the Joy Cons? Ten. Oh. Yeah, ten. Natural. All right. Uh. Sidebar. Arms is actually starting to look more and more interesting to me. The more I see it. It should. How good did it feel to play on a scale of one to ten? Oh, ah. Uh, for me, I'm gonna go like three or four. Okay. This wow. is sidebar question. Pro controller or Joy Cons? I'm assuming Joy Cons. Joy Cons, we were playing with motion controllers, which is why I'm saying three or four. Okay. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah. I also jumped in without doing the tutorial because of time. I didn't want to waste time, so I was like, I don't need the tutorial. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I was just waving my arms around like an ass. I'm the opposite. I give it a solid uh, 7.5. There you go. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to hold off on that last one to 10 question. All right. So these are the yes or no questions. All right. Ready? Are the Joy-Cons too small? No. Uh, meaning like holding it sideways? No. No. No? Okay. Did you guys milk a cow? No. No. What? How about, did you guys pop some champagne bottles? No. My favorite one too, Switch. Can't wait. Man. Uh, did you guys get to switch the Switch at yes. any point? Yes. Well, yes. Well, I'll, we'll get into more detail on that later. I'm curious about that. Um, was the event overcrowded? No. no. Good. Was Reggie there? No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He gave me a piggyback ride. We rode, We went no. all around the entire thing. He took me from station to station. We talked about our favorite types of cookies, which was very fun. You'll never guess what he's into. You'll find out in the video. Some about, different, it all. Some about a different Reggie. This I, wasn't I figured as much. I had I had some insider information yesterday to kind of get a feel for how to ask these questions. Lies. Lies. Whoever told you he wasn't there is a liar because he mm. was there and he gave me a piggyback ride on his shoulders and back, both styles. That's what we did. 
She demonstrated the versatility of the Switch. He demonstrated the versatility of his back. That's what he did. That's what friends do. We're best friends. We like sandwiches. We had sandwiches. We went to that place, bought some sandwiches together. What he means is that we played Just Dance 2017. We did do that. (laughs) All right. uh, This was supposed to be a quick uh, follow-up question. Um, Was Karen our new mascot there? Yes. Realistically. Yes. No. Okay. Yes. (laughs) She gave me a piggyback ride. (laughs) We ate sandwiches. Her name was Reggie. (laughs) She she told me about the name of the cookie. (laughs) Uh, last yes or no question that I have listed here. Yes. Did you f- did you feel there was enough time at the event to do what you wanted? Yeah. yeah. Yes, more than enough time. Yeah, actually. I don't want to say we got bored, but we got bored. Did you get bored by the end? Um, we'll get into details. Not exactly. I don't think bored's the right word. Bored's not the right word, but definitely like, yeah, like you, you hit what you wanted to hit. And yeah, like we thought there would have been more wait time with these games. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. We'll give me more detail. Yeah. Short All lines. right. And then uh, these are the et cetera questions. These are probably going to be like the first thought to come Ooh. out of your your head here okay. um favorite game of the show Splatoon 2 oh, God. You, you guys said you get, didn't play Zelda right no we did okay. not play yeah I, I was I was about to say because I had in parentheses <laughs> if, <laughs> I had in parentheses here if Zelda what else yeah. Splatoon 2 um arms <sighs> okay okay I actually like hearing that I'm, I'm getting more intrigued by the day with that game because I lost in Splatoon <laughs> Um, I'm assuming you've seen both colors of the Switch. Yes. Yes. Which one do you prefer? Fucking... The, I'm actually liking the I colors. I know, me too. It's weird. I ordered the gray one, but I like the colors. I'll take your gray one. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be okay. I'll have it. No, I like uniform. <sighs> Give you a hundred bucks extra. All right. Um, let's keep doing down the list. Favorite one to Switch game that you guys were able to play? The only one we could really? play. The yeah. Samurai one. No, and could is not necessarily the right word there the only one we well, did play we yeah. could have circled back around we just honestly one we didn't get to pick it though right when we stepped in we were told they were already demoing okay. that one um the, one of the reps was like just go ahead and tell them you want to fucking milk cows you can milk cows we we're like yeah we'll do that we'll, we'll come back and then we just got sidetracked doing other things oh because i didn't hear that yeah, yeah, they, okay. they, that that one guy who was cool and, and had cool hair, he was like, hey, you, uh, if you guys want to play the milk, just tell me to put on the milk game. And I was like, gotcha. all right, cool. And when we walked out, he was like, did you get to play the milk? What are you doing? And I was like, hey, we'll come back. There's other people in line. It's no big deal. Uh, I just assumed that they would have been like, hey, which one do you want to play? You know, when you get yeah. like, like a good host. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, what game that you played there felt best? And then this is the port. Which game uh, felt best? Like, felt best playing on, on the Switch. Maybe with the Joy-Cons, the way the portability is. What what game? Mm. Well, I guess it depends on the... It depends on the control. Well, they all... First, For some reason, I, I went to Puyo Puyo Tetris. Right? Mm. My... It felt fine. I mean, Splatoon felt like Splatoon. Just fine, fine-tuned. Yeah. yeah. It did. Um... I guess, like, the most insane one out there would have been ARMS. Yeah. I mean, in terms of, like, felt best, for me, because we... I would say personalizes. They don't make Fire it, like... Feel good, too. Like, don't make it I, that the controller I, if it's about the, the thing, screen size. But that's the but, thing. That's but, the thing. Is but, that like, the traditional control is just, you know... Yeah, they all felt really good. And I that's the takeaway I got from this event and going hands-on with the system. And the takeaway I got when they first announced the thing is that the versatility of the console is what makes the console. So... You can play it any way you want. It's always yeah. going to be comfortable. It's always going to be fun. I think for me, it best does. is relative depending on the game, but it also doesn't matter because it's just, who cares? Like, it's technically nothing new in terms of controls. It's just the way that it's right. shaped. Everything felt good, though. I think that's like that's my reaction. Everything felt good. Nothing was necessarily better than one or the other. Right. Because if you didn't like what you were doing, you could easily just say, well, I'm not going to do this anymore and go to a different one. I think that's, if, if you'll accept that answer. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, I just thought of one for uh, on the on the scale question, so I'm gonna jump back to there real fast before I forget it. Mm-hmm. Um, how on a scale of one to ten, how satisfying was it to hear the click when you snapped? Ten. Ooh, ten. Absolutely ten. ten. Okay. Did you see my video on Instagram? I saw it. I didn't turn on the volume because I wanted to be that asshole. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, back to the etc. Questions. What uh, was the longest line at the event? Zelda. Zelda. Because you needed a special ticket for that. Right. Ooh, yeah. That's why we ticket. didn't do it. Got yeah. it. Um. What game was low on your radar going in that you may have played and is now a lot higher? 
just dance. No. <laughs> I was going to say that. No. I mean, everything that, that, that we played, we wanted to play. Like... We didn't have, like, low expectations, I guess. Was there any game that maybe, like, raised the expectation more than you thought, even if Arms, were actually. Uh, Arms? Street Fighter 2. I mean, that's something, like, I already played before. What? Street Fighter 2. Because it's just a... It's... And, yeah, but, like, seeing it on the thing where I was like, oh, this art looks like shit. <laughs> and then, like, playing it, I was like, oh, no, I'm, I I will definitely be getting this. Oh, uh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, mean, I, like, I, I can see myself playing it again, but yeah. I'm probably not going to get it right away. No, but, like, depending on what it, like, if it's a $15 thing yeah. or something, like, just something to have so they're, like... Yeah, I, I wasn't sure with arms because of the motion control, mm-hmm. but because I did the tutorial thing, I, I, like, I like it. I also like that it's an option. Right. So you don't need to do motion controls with arms. Right. But they were only demoing the, the motion, motion controls. controls. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then uh, back to the last, uh, to the last question is back to the scale. One to well, ten. On a scale one to ten, how did you feel overall about the event? Ten. Yeah, ten. 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 Yeah. Nine point five. And that concludes my lightning round. Cool. Thank you for that. Thank you. For that. Are you sad you didn't get to go? Not really. You, it's okay to admit it. There's a safe space. <laughs> no. <sighs> Find that. I also didn't want to play Zelda because I wanted my first time to be like. So that was part, not timed. Like part of like yeah yeah like I of course you know if I was given the opportunity I would go to this I wouldn't just if you know uh, someone yeah, told yeah, me yeah. hey you want to go but no I got yeah. Bloodborne to play yeah yeah we got to try every type of control except for the grip. Right, the grip was the only one that was happening with Zelda. Yeah. Um, it's funny because uh, so it was myself, Mark, and Charlie, mm-hmm. and Charlie and I were making fun of Mark <clears throat> right early in the morning about not wanting to play Zelda. I'm like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Yeah. Um, but I get it. No, I, I get it. But it was still just like just who just I, play the fucking yeah. Game. I mean, like I had a chance and I didn't take yeah. it. We get there, and in order to play Zelda, you like Mark said, you had to go get a different ticket, which wasn't. It's not like it was a, a big deal. It was literally just. Stand in line, put your name on the thing. They'll give you a special ticket that says you come back at 11, 11 11, whatever it is, right? Um, We just, as soon as the doors opened, it was like everyone kind of flooded that, obviously. And we were like, well, the Mario Kart line's empty. Let's just go play Mario Kart. Yeah. Um, I also didn't know how long everything was going to take. So I wanted to get as much as I could out of this as well. So it was a lot of of things factored in. But I honestly, I didn't, I didn't miss that we didn't play it. But the I game's had... like two weeks away, so yeah, that's where I was at. Whatever. I was like, I'm, I'm okay <laughs> and with before that. Before that, like, Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah, like, that was... God damn it! If this was like E3 last year, uh, I would have, I would have wasted my entire day on just Zelda. Yeah, it sounds like a yeah, because it's a year, you know what I mean? But like, yeah, nah, the, yeah. um, no, um. No, uh, if someone gave me the opportunity to go, I would have. I would have went. It was yeah. just like the one thing I would have wanted to play, or I would have wanted to play, was Zelda. Yeah, and I kind of figured that would be like the you know mess what? of a line. There was a game that I wanted to play, and we didn't get a chance to as well. Uh, Snipper Clips. Yeah, we completely fucking forgot about that. Yeah, because oh, it was it was hidden game. kind of. Yeah, it was like tucked behind arms. Yeah. in front of the Mario Odyssey uh, thing. Yeah. It wasn't really a demo of Mario Odyssey. I wish, dude. Ooh. That's what. That's that's that why been. like I don't care that I didn't go. What I'm not gonna like I don't care about one two switch except if I was popping bottles and mm-hmm. uh, it was like walking to a club though. <laughs> yeah, it. So if anyone's ever seen video of like an E3 show floor, it was very much that. Yeah, it was. It was like a, it was like a percent of that. Yeah. Um. Uh, and again, like we have a lot of video stuff. Um. I am off work tomorrow and. Or if you're listening to this day one, I'm off work today. Um, <laughs> I'll be editing that by the end of the week. By Friday, we will have video on the site on our YouTube channel of kind of our adventure cut together. But it was, yeah. I mean, one thank you to everyone who put that event together because it was just yeah. like it was so easy. Like I was anticipating a lot of bullshit. It, yeah, like it was well organized. It was super well organized. Parking was great. The venue was great. They got us in on time. Everything. It was just. Like, I think it was pretty solid. I kept expecting something stupid. Like we'd go Did back. Did the staff to know what they were doing? Everybody knew okay. what they were doing. Everybody was well informed. They, yeah, maybe. Some of them said some stupid things, but. Yeah, but they, they don't know. I was going to say, or, or they they're were not, scripted to say that. They're not or, actual Nintendo employees. Yeah, like they're kind of explaining like, 
a game that you played before, they're telling you how to play it. Yeah. Right. I mean, that's but, a job. That's what they're doing. Right. right. They, they can't assume that. Exactly. exactly. Uh, but you know, I, anything. I was expecting like to come back and one of us would have a problem getting our jackets back or something. You know what I mean? Like right. just something. Du- everything went off without a hitch. There was only no one problem. thing I saw that was like, I don't know what happened. Huh. Like next to us when we were playing Street Fighter the second time. Uh, there was just two kids next to us, like little kids, as if like their parents just abandoned them or something. Yeah, and there was so like the person that runs that station had to like keep an eye on these kids. Them. Yeah, I was and, like, this sucks. And there was one when <laughs> like, we were them. waiting to play Puyo Puyo Tetris. Um, there was a switch lady kneeling down to a kid and like, are you looking for your mommy? And it was like, oh god, shit. It's like, how do you lose a kid here? Like, it's not even like that. Oh, packed. I know how you lose a kid there, man. That yeah. game, that whole <laughs> the thing was magical. It was yeah. a hands-on event, you know. But uh, so let's. You want to run through like timeline wise or game wise or well, how just do you want to timeline. break this down? Timeline. Yeah, let's just go. Just go through it. Mario Kart. We played Mario Kart. That was the first thing we did. So uh, one, two. They they you had did handheld version too. Right. Right. Um, they was had it a, only battle mode there. No. 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 Yeah, they had a racing. Um, mm-hmm. So they had the whole event was set up in different stations. They had a whole Splatoon corner. They had a Zelda. Side. Aisle, side, <laughs> yeah, side, so to speak. We're, um, next, we're next to Splatoon. And then they had kind of this runway in the center, and the runway branched off with little couches along the way yeah. that had TVs. Uh, it was two TVs, two couches, and the same thing kind of mirroring back to back to back to back to side back. Side tangent, this runway is like plexiglass type material raised yeah. an inch above the ground so everybody tripped on it so you just walked on it the second you... i'll show you when we're not <laughs> recording so you, i don't it's nice though like but, but you can see when i first walk into the place because i'm holding my phone we all did we just things. just dude <laughs> and i kept asking everybody where reggie was so as soon as i walk in there's a woman standing there and she's got a stupid cowboy hat on for one two switch and she tries to high five me and i went where's reggie and i just <laughs> trip because it's fucking slanted and stupid. But yeah, the couches, they were nice. Yeah. They did TVs back to back. TVs back to back, and then every station was paired up with the same. You know, you had a Bomberman chunk, you had a yeah. Tetris chunk, you had whatever. Um, and then they had a whole side section for arms. Another one for snipper clips, which was kind of like... That was, was like a lost small... In the shuffle. It was really... It was like a table like this big. Yeah. Um, and then the very back, against the back wall, you had this huge, like, 6K projection screen um that they were occasionally doing like live Throwing events people and stuff. up there yep mm-hmm. but on the sides of that the side of that you had mario kart on and the they left were themed. Hand, yeah left hand side you had airplane and as, you as had if, as if you were playing on it yeah i yeah. saw those you had airplane and you had i had my insider it was <laughs> airplane and then you had um you had fireplace and then on the opposite side you had diner and was car. there a fireplace yeah that was the one there was when we went up into the airplane one, there was a couple who were playing oh, right. fireplace mode. Yeah, fireplace. That's yeah. right. And that yeah. was so the, the way they the, what they did with Mario Kart, They're which trying, was a really good example, was they showed you each. They're wave. pretty much trying to relive that commercial. Yeah, they were trying to show you each. I mean, that makes sense. Uh, they were like trying the to give you all the different cause, situations, uh-huh. which is smart. Yeah, it was fantastic. It Roof was rooftop access. Uh, warehouse. I went to the rooftop with Karen for a piggyback ride. Oh, was but, Reggie also up there? Yeah, they were. Was Reggie also giving okay, Karen so he, a piggyback? Was, yeah, ride so he, yeah, that's what I was about to Karen. say. Yes, yes. we was, had a three-way piggyback going. They did the dumb totem like in Triforce. Right, was, fuck you, move on. I hey, you know, it wasn't up to me. <laughs> they wanted to. So yeah, you had airplane mode where it was in kickstand mode. Yeah, and you slide the Joy Cons off and whatever. The first one we did though was I gotta say though I don't recommend. Uh, split screen on tabletop mode. No, you're wrong. For battle mode? We'll come back to that. We'll get... We'll... Yeah, For that game, so I don't recommend it. I... No. Honestly, though, like, given the situation... I was not distracted. I, I felt that... Was, yes, you're not wrong. It is very yeah. small. It's a small... I just if, mean if you have options. Take it, the other options. Sure. If you don't have... The, if you're Obviously. on an airplane, fine. I'll deal with that, it. But I think <laughs> that's the thing. Is like, if... If I'm at work and Matt and I are on lunch together, like... Him and I can go fuck off, sit somewhere, and just play the Pop thing. champagne bottle. Matt! But we can do that. <laughs> right? Right. That makes sense, because that's your only yeah. option. Right. But even still... God damn it. You're going to kill. I'm not going to kill, but I will pop champagne. What is the difference? Oh, there's a difference. <laughs> there's a difference. <laughs> I can wait. We can do that. Pops. I would even say that we could do four-player split screen. 
I'm a crazy man. I know this. Not Shit. with Mario Kart. I would totally Mario Kart. I would totally do that. I don't need much, man. I can I can make it happen. Here's the thing. If you're interested, if you're one of the I many, don't think let you. if you're one of the many who own a Wii U, you can pick up your Wii U gamepad. The display on there is the exact same display size as this. The the thing itself is is different. Trimmed but, down. Uh, right, but the actual screen of the Switch is the same size as the one on your Wii U gamepad. So if you're looking for like a, a literal reference, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, maybe I would I would just want something more eye level because we were many. not eye level. We were like it's like down here like. Lower than I was. I mean, like, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, you know, different circumstances. But they had it there. The fireplace one was set up on the television. So you had TV mode. The car one, I don't know what they were doing over there. We didn't do that one. And then there was the diner one. Or not car, but like bus. They, that might have been a another. Car. Wow, I'm just now remembering that. I yeah. was like, I don't remember that. I, I'll have yeah. to go back to the video and kind of peek at what they were doing. But then there was the diner mode. And the diner mode was everybody's in handheld. That was the very first time I could Which play is how... the Switch. If you and your friends, you know, have multiple, have multiple this, is, switches, this, this will yeah. be like probably the main way of playing. This, this is what you will see at conventions. They this couldn't, <laughs> they couldn't get the the basketball court next door, so they got they got the, yeah. Yeah, yeah they made that little. Thing. So they made this uh, diner where they turned Waluigi into a, a kitchen slave in mm -hmm. the back, <clears throat> and the um, M diner. They were all a blue shell burgers, but they just had shell burgers, so that was fine. Um, but yeah, you, you sit down. It was me, Charlie, two strangers, Mark filming us, and played Mario Kart. And it's Mario Kart 8, but not on a Wii U. And in my hand, on a thing that yeah. I'm very excited to buy. There was a slight uh, drop in frames. I didn't notice. I didn't. These things are I noticed it though, now. Right? I mean, like, it's, or yeah, like I said, like, whatever. it's not, it doesn't break the game. It's yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. if I mean, if you're picky about that stuff, it's just something you It notice. is, yeah. But I, I think that happens on Wii U as well. Right. But I don't, I don't know. But yeah, it does it's go from, not bad, just... it goes from 60 to 30 if you're doing multiplayer. Um, like, I think four player multiplayer. I don't yeah. know about two player. I don't remember. I think split screen is fine with racing. I just, for some reason, battle mode, I just felt disoriented. Yeah. And then that map. Oh my God. It's eight player battle mode. I'm used to four it was, players. It was crazy. And having a map down there at the bottom and then just all these heads flying. I'm like, who yeah. am I supposed to fucking look at? Yeah. I'm not the biggest fan of battle mode to begin with. So. I'm very happy battle mode I'm is okay back. with battle mode. Like, if we if we had just had switches across from each other, bring yeah. it. Like, I will yeah, totally Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, shit, yeah, like, if, I'm, a little... if I'm not on an airplane and we're sharing the screen, I'm like, what the yeah. fuck are we doing right now? Dude, um, we have a TV. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, so we played Mario Kart. Mario Kart was very good. Yeah. It was Mario Kart as you expected, but now with all the cool shit, you got five new characters. You yeah. have um, got some dry bones now. Battle mode, yeah, dry bones. Yeah. King Boo, Splatoon boy, Splatoon girl, mm -hmm. and all the previous. DLC all the previous. Stuff. Who's the fifth though? Dry bones, King Boo, Inkling boy, Inkling girl. There's a fifth character. I don't know. No. Uh, I don't, know. don't remember. Oh well. Moving on. Yep. Not. not well, you, you, you said dry Other. bones. Other. Yeah. Dry bones, boo, inklings. I don't. I don't remember the fifth. Either way, who cares? New characters, super dope. Try Bowser wasn't one, right? Try Bowser was in the DLC previously. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Who cares? Yeah, but very good. Very good first impression of like, cool. This is nice. I, the one downside to the entire event, which we expected, is just. Everything is bolted. Everything is strapped. So the weight of the thing is definitely not something I can tell you a real answer on. My assumption, it is lighter than it obviously was. And it'll probably be lighter than we expect. Yeah. Um, my overall takeaway before we go into more specifics about games, just about the hardware itself. The Wii U gamepad, if you pick that up, or a Wii remote, has a very thick plastic to it. And mm -hmm. people jokingly referred to it as like a Mattel toy or a Fisher Price thing, and that's yes. being a little reductive, right? But but to an extent, yeah, it is kind of that. This feels like an Apple product. Like it is sleek. Yeah. It is. That's a word I was about to say too. Like it, it's sleek. It's thin. It's just. It's nice. It's something that like you, the same way that like people idolize these things and are waving an iPhone like. And and like this is a a cool you're cool if you have one of these like I, I feel like to an extent like if you see someone with a switch you're like whoa that's cool you know like Johnny Bravo 
I don't know. I just, did you get that feeling, or it, am it, I just being? No, it, like, it definitely is like sleek. Like that's the best yeah. word to describe it. Like, um, it, it had like everything had a very minimum design to it. There was yeah, there was nothing that was like that didn't need to be there. Yeah, like it, it cut off any like it cut off all fat that yes. the, that the Wii U has. Yeah, um, while still being comfortable, right? Because there's something to the Wii U gamepad where that thing is bulky, but it has a bit of comfort to it. Yeah, like if the Wii U was a fat kid in middle school, the Switch is the the beautiful swan. Yeah, yeah, yeah later yeah. in life. <laughs> it really is like it, it feels I'm just like a looking total at the gamepad behind you and shaking my head at it. No, but this feels like a total. It does look huge now. Look at it. I hate that it's thing. Massive. This feels like a total it's maturation like and just evolution of Nintendo as a as a company and a brand and a, and everything. Yeah. Um, I don't remember the last time they've had this like sort of modern Game, technology. GameCube. GameCube. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you I might not be wrong. Wii. We yeah yeah well, that, that plays into it. I mean, because motion controls that was like kind of new and fresh at the that time. That was a fad with all the yeah. systems. Yeah, but this just feels this feels right. Yeah. Um. So, Mario Kart we played. Uh. I honestly I don't remember the order we played everything at this point. So maybe we can just kind of run through. I think from there we went to we Street Fighter, Bomberman. Bomberman is what we because I because I got the pick next. Right. 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 Yeah. Because you sacrificed your turn to play so yeah. you could film. Yeah. Um, that was fun. We just did battle mode. We didn't do the story. Yeah. Uh, Bomberman. It's Bomberman. It's Bomberman. But here's the cool thing. Konami's making a video game in 2017 that doesn't have a fucking casino slot on it. Oh, they are. They're making another game. It's called Metal Gear Solid. Uh, Matt. <laughs> I'm not happy about it either, but. It's called Metal Gear Champagne. Uh, I cannot wait for the champagne. I, I'm excited. In addition to Konami making a video game, there's a Bomberman video game in 2017, yes. which is dope. And I remember, like, right congratulations before that, on the 31st anniversary. Like right before that, or whatever the hell. There was an episode where we were like hoping it would come back. We're like, no, it's Hudson Soft. Konami owns that. I'm like, shit, it's not I coming. It's and here. it's it's real. <laughs> it is real, real, real. Day one. And it's good. Yeah. Um, that was fun. It. I will. I will be playing that. And, yes. and Definitely got a play story. Yeah, um, I don't know if that's only two players though. I don't know. So no, probably Bomberman is not my thing. Did you say that? Have you played Bomberman? I have played on a Super Nintendo mm. as, a, as a young boy. Mm. <laughs> um, let's just kind of run around the stations. Sure. Um, we'll save the bigger ones for last. How about that? Okay. Uh, Street Fighter. Street Fighter, good. Pro it, controller, by the way. Right. So. Do you want to, Matt? You tell us. Like I know you did the the lightning round, but would you rather hear about hardware? Or would you rather hear about games? Oh, sorry. I'm just kind of like touching both as we're going. Uh, yeah, but I feel like maybe we can like carve yeah. out a thing and you. Tell I think us. the games are the games at this point, unless you have something that really stuck out. But I think we know what to expect with the games at this point. Uh, maybe besides Arms, I feel like that's the one I kind of want to know more about. All right, good. So then we're not going to talk about uh, games at all then. Okay. I'm just kidding. No. Um, all right, we'll, but we kind of got you guys kind of hidden at it at the. No, we'll the we'll, run. Run, we'll run through piece by piece then. Uh, Street Fighter, good. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean nothing new in terms of Street Fighter besides adding just two new characters. Right. Uh, played all... Street Fighter what two right? It's, yeah. yeah sure. Yep. It's a Street Fighter two HD remix. Just on we on Switch. I almost said Wii U. I know. Poor. Yeah. I am sorry. <laughs> um, Nintendo. I'm just gonna start calling it the NX again. Yeah. Yeah. We we played. Oh, uh, but I just sorry. Yeah, the D pad is good. Well, yeah, my insider also said D pad is good. Yeah, it is a good D pad. Very good. D-pad. Insider also said. Take notes, Microsoft. Pro controller must have. Absolutely, I have that pre-ordered. As Absolutely, well. yeah. Yes. And I told my insider, I, there is not a not it's there's nice. not a chance of me owning a Switch without a Pro controller. Yeah, and he agreed. Um, Surprising, the Joy Cons aren't I, bad. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna say like. If I I like them because that thing seems like it's a hot commodity. If yeah. I don't have a pro controller, I am not gonna cry. I'd yeah. like to have one, two, three, four of them, but mm-hmm. I'll be okay if I don't. Yeah, I mean, just it's so good. Dollars, it's good. Uh, you know what? It definitely had a little Pause. weight to it, but it's not bad. Pause. I mean, I think sixty is a lot for a PlayStation controller. So okay, I mean... I'm gonna I'm gonna pause you right there. I'm gonna ask you one question. When. You use your Dual Shock for which you pay sixty dollars for, correct? I thought that yeah. was seventy. That was sixty. That was the sixty. For the PS4 controller, sixty. Oh. How many hours does the battery last? I don't keep track. Not long. I usually plug it in when I'm done. Anyway. Give me a rough estimate. 
And the new one, the new one with the new style touch bar, mine has got to be at least six hours. Six. Do you know what the probably about like three? Six, three. Okay. Let's just let's say six. Let's say ten. Let's say you can get ten hours out of a DualShock Four. You know how long the Wii U one lasts, and thus how long the Switch one lasts? Like sixty, maybe forty. But it is a long time. It's okay, a very, I mean, very long. So one, you're getting you're getting the longevity of that. You're also getting the NFC reader inside of it, so you, you're able to pop your amiibos on there, which is obviously the most important thing. No, but really, like I, seventy bucks is seventy bucks. I'm not saying it's not an expensive controller. Yeah, I mean, but battery life compared to the other two is impeccable. I I think it's super. You're just super trying dope. to say that it's it's being worth the value. Because you're, uh, yeah, and honestly, and I love DualShock 4, and it's been my favorite, you know, controller of this generation. This is way better than that. This feels so good in your hand. It kind of reminded me of, like, a Microsoft controller. Uh, like, Xbox One 360-ish. It felt like... Because of the weight. Give me a sec. But, like, but like it didn't, like, it didn't feel awkward. So, like, I, I guess more like Xbox One to me. But, oh, you do. I guess that, too. I forgot it exactly what that looked like. It was essentially, okay. ladies and gentlemen. I, I keep am... confusing the layouts with the Wii U one. Oh, uh, yeah, because the, 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 the top two joysticks. Oh, I hate that thing. Yeah. Oh, I'm looking at that Wii U gamepad and that <laughs> joystick being about the buttons. Yeah. I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Feel this. Yeah, so this is the Wii Classic Controller Pro. It's, in terms of like ergonomics. Light. It feels like this, but uh, add another couple pounds to it. That's good. Maybe not pounds. Right, yeah. but add, it, some, add some weight. weight to it so it feels like it has something inside of it and not just air. And you've kind of got It felt the, nice, though. And, like, the D-pad, it's... And when, when you, when you, super good. Here's the thing, because it's not this D-pad. Let me tell, tell you that much. Uh, it clicks. Yeah. It makes a clicky noise. It's, it's a real... Is every, that the theme of the Switch? A click? Yeah. Like, everything's just a click. <laughs> it's... You want to try it? I mean, I'm sure you've I'm, but you, I'm giving it to you like you've feel, never used it before. The way I've, the, I, I've barely used the Pro one, to be honest. I, I've never, I've actually the, never held that the one. The way so. the back kind of yeah. flips up, that really, really... Like, the way your hands are positioned on it, it's like the same You know what, though? Yeah. I'm so used to DualShock 1, 2, and 3 that those being the triggers, I'm uh-huh. putting that in air quotes, being where they're at, it doesn't bother me. Uh, what are you talking about, on the back? Yeah, you said the way that sticks up on the, on like, that, that trigger right there, right? Isn't that what you just said? No, I'm saying that like just this, like the way that this. Oh is shaped, God, never mind. That kind of never flatness. Mind. It's the same way that the the Switch Pro controller okay, feels. Never mind. I thought you were saying that the tr- quote trigger. But this, like ergonomically, just kind of it molds to my hand. Like I feel really good holding this controller. Yeah, I feel fun. in control of the thing. It, it it feels better holding that though. The yeah, the Switch one. Yeah, I was I was getting mad for a yeah. second because I really thought that that joystick was still above the buttons, but now that I pulled no, up the picture no. here, no, that we're we can breathe, we can be Nintendo's happy. Nintendo's like, look, man, we learned. <laughs> it, yeah, um, we learned. We're sorry. <laughs> it's like the one reason why I was thinking about getting a Switch for Zelda is because I don't want to play on that fucking thing over there. Yeah, it was a pro controller. I don't. I don't oh, want to have to buy one. Oh, I know. Oh God. Um. So we played Street Fighter. Yeah. Then we played Just Dance 2017. Yes, perfect. We did. Uh, if you had to guess which song we danced to, what would you know. guess? The Gone to November, Black Beatles. Oh man, that was in there. I know. Uh, um, we tried. To, all right, I'll give you a Dragula. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> we tried to dance to some Ariana Grande song. Oh damn! But, but the, the father, and, fantasy. father and daughter before us had just danced to it, and the yeah. rep was not. Yeah, the lady that up like, for it. Oh, the lady like that was like gave me a lap dance essentially. Mm. I, I, I was standing right because we were standing right near them. Yeah, of course. You're so next. I was, I was, I was closer. What he means is that this woman was trying to dance and do her job, and he was being a creep behind her. Yeah, by not moving, but she was <laughs> moving everywhere. So, not my fault. No, I, we, no, we, I would have just abandoned that line and just be like, we, all right, well, I'll no, try. It was great. I mean, we, she, she, yeah. she played with us. Like, um, yeah, yeah, she was very, like... She was good for that booth. Kudos yes, to her. Yes, okay. Dude, she was very energetic. She little, probably yeah. would, had, like, two hours of sleep, all hopped up and caffeine. No, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm saying, no, I'm just like, saying that's probably where the energy I'm not saying, like, kudos to, like, have that energy and the, like... And to let, just forget that you're a person. Because you, yeah. th- that, like, kind of, like... 
anybody who's been in a situation like that where you've kind of got to like. Yeah, so I figured you get you, you get embarrassed very easily. Like, yeah, I, you know, you know, I, I would have left the line. We're a bunch of grown ass men near our thirties or over, mm-hmm. and just like playing these games for essentially for kids. Yep. And here we are. So it's three dudes. I'm like, you know what? Let's play Just Dance. And no, let's make this even better. Yeah. Single ladies. Beyonce. Uh, yes. Perfect. That's a little. Yeah, well, actually, I wish that was in there. I was looking for. Wait, what? That wasn't in there? This might have been like an easier mode where it didn't have like. All I don't know. Are this you was kidding very, me? Like... How do you not do the one thing? I don't know what that means. I don't know what you're doing. It had yeah. the, have you ever seen the video? Arms. No, oh. I, I know what you're talking about. Thank but you. they had the part where you're going like. Come on, if you're commit, commit. I. It wasn't uh, up to uh, look. Uh, 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 I don't know. Okay. Yeah, there. Yeah. It was it was something similar, I think. I can't remember. I don't want to I'm disappointed. I, don't know. That, I just kept yeah. shaking my hips. We got video of it. <laughs> don't worry. Kept shaking my hips. It was good. What was throwing me off is I uh okay, everybody liked it. That that's that watched us. Is that well, yeah, a watch we, game? we put on a show. It better be. I think it is. <laughs> yeah, it probably is. It was fun. We played just dance. And dude, I, that's like that's like Ubisoft's. Bank. And it's funny because when they when I saw that in the corner, I was like, Yeah, dude, just every E three presentation. I saw it in the corner, I was like, Why would they fucking bring Just Dance to this? Who cares? And then, as I'm thinking, it, Mark goes, You want to play Let's Just Dance? <laughs> I said it as a joke, but I was like, You know what? Why not? And we were all kind of like, Yeah, well, I got some. Yeah, well, we're filming everything. We should yeah. probably get. Some it's like one of those guilty pleasure things. Oh yeah, let's dance over there. Let's go hop I mean, in the line and I mean, yeah, be assholes. And then before you know, it, you're dancing to single ladies. I mean, coming from like me and Charlie, we 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 would play Dance Central a lot. So yeah, this isn't anything like bad. No, for it was me. it was good. And honestly, <laughs> like if anything, it was my first time ever playing a Just Dance game. So I'm kind of like, you know, that's not. Just... Until they get We Fit over onto the Switch. Just Dance might be... Okay, I lost you guys. <laughs> from uh, from Just Dance, we played 1-2 Switch. Uh, we only played the Samurai game. Yeah. Uh, where you are... Someone is holding the sword and someone is catching it beforehand. We were... Yeah, uh, do you, with you your hand the, hold it's it. A, it's a wooden sword. It's a it's a training sword. So you're not like... It was a real sword. Yeah, it was a real ass real sword. It was sword. a real <laughs> katana. But yeah, but pretty much like it would like have the motion of you striking and you have to catch it. So like, you're you're holding you're holding the Joy Con in your but hand. But you have you have to smack your hand, right? right. That's right. And where that it, sudden yeah. like slap is what catches it. it. Yeah. Yeah. And the other person's doing the swipe. Yeah. We were flawless. We could not be beat. And we just kept like having this great stare off. Yeah, we were trying to like psych each other out and yeah. it, like it didn't work yeah. half the time. Um <laughs> it was good. And then yeah, after, we went to Splatoon. Is that what we did next? All I right, think so. I'm gonna wait. We're not talking about Splatoon yet. Okay. We're saving Splatoon and Arms for the last. Um, Puyo, Puyo Puyo Tetris. It's Puyo, good. Puyo, Tetris. It's, it's Puyo Puyo. I love it. And Tetris, and I love it. It was great. That particular demo was really long. That's like, because it's not. A, it's the full game. It's the full game. We were playing the full game, so we just <laughs> sat down and played it for 15 minutes. Because all the other demos were pretty rapid, and that's why when you asked earlier, like. Did we feel like we were out of time? Like, no, the, the event itself really wasn't that crowded. There was maybe... Puyo Puyo took so long that when Charlie was playing Puyo, we finished, and then we went to play Street Fighter again, and we yeah. came back, and he, so was, still and he was still playing. playing. <laughs> and I had time to film, like, a lot of, like, random B-roll yeah. while he was still playing. Perfect. It was pretty good. And, um, and their match got cut off by a timer. Yeah. So maybe it is a demo to maybe. some point, <laughs> but it was good. It was a, I enjoyed that game. I will yeah. be playing and buying that game, buying and playing that game. Yeah. Uh, Sonic Mania. Did, what what else was on the floor that we we played around with? There were a couple of it. things that we didn't play, like uh, a couple indie games that were there. Yeah. Um, there was, uh, Arms. Disgaea Five was there. Uh, so yeah. we'll we'll do Arms in Splatoon. Last. Yeah. What was the name of that game? What was the name of that game? Project. Blah blah blah, the RPG that was like oh Project like, Octopath Traveler. Yeah, that uh, was that there. <laughs> I, I wish, as it turns out, that looks <laughs> awesome. Yeah, no, it was, no. Um, but we played Sonic Mania, mm-hmm. which honestly, Sonic Mania it, it, it felt good. like a Sonic game. It felt like a Sonic game. It felt like playing like that was the most artificial, mm-hmm. like accurate. Do you remember when you played Shovel Knight for the first time and you were kind of like. Did, how did I miss this NES game? Like, you kind of, like, feel like you're playing yeah. something from then. Sonic Mania is the same thing. You're playing it, and you're like, yeah. th- I, I must have just never played this on the Genesis. Like, this, that, it felt just like that. So yeah. if you're looking for old-school Sonic, like 1, 2, and 3, this you got it. it. It's coming. Yeah. It looks great. It plays great. That new drop-dash mechanic, 
super cool. And if anyone's wondering about Tails, it's the Sonic 3 Tails. So you can pick up Sonic and fly around. Yes, that's correct. Not just follow yeah. and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. be there. Yeah. Um, But the dopest thing about the Sonic Mania um, chunk of our time was that uh, that one was played with the console docked and the guy slid the Joy-Con off and handed it to us. When we got done the demo and it got to the end, it said, thanks for playing. Happy 25th anniversary, Sonic. Um, the guy kind of reached his hand out to take the Joy-Con back from me. And I was like, ooh, can I slide it back on? Because it was the first time I had, you know. Mm-hmm. And he was like, oh, yeah, 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 go ahead. And I was like, oh, cool. So I got to click it into place. I was like, oh, yeah, that's a good click. <laughs> and uh, I heard it and I just felt yeah. it. Yeah. And he, he kind of like, after I did it, he looked around and he was like, hey, there's nobody in line. Start it over again and, and do the, the thing. And he did the lift animation with his arms to... Not like he said lift animation. <laughs> pantomime, whatever, whatever humans do. He did the lift motion. There you go. Um, and I was like, okay, cool. So I started up the next level. I played for a second and I lifted it off and it was just like, oh, it's so cool. So yeah, we had to see it actually switch between actually. the TV to the handheld. And then I kind of proceeded to do that several other times. Yeah. Um, and slide the Joy-Cons off. It is, I, I gotta say, it is not, whoever, whoever did it in all of their stuff, like they practiced and practiced. Yeah. Maybe it was also because this thing is strapped to a bunch of cables and stuff that the weight feels a little bit different. Yeah. Um, and I also forgot about that, the release button on the back. Yeah, but it was definitely like you had to press that in to pull it out. Yeah, that and makes I, sense. You just want them. To come yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but I definitely it wasn't as like fluid as you see. Like I had to kind of set it in there. They, they probably pinch it. They Maybe. pinch and pull. But I like kind of <laughs> did that, and I wasn't able to slide it right off. Like yeah. I kind of had to use my other hand to keep it. Like as I started to slide, it was lifting yeah. itself out of the dock, which again it, cables might have been in the way. It's not. I wouldn't worry too much about that. No. It was a lot of cables. It was a lot of cables. A lot of cables, a lot of Because you had to keep, weight. like, going around to, like, yeah. put it back in. Um, but it's only, like, a not like not even, like, maybe a second, if that. Of the delay? Yeah, like, switching, transferring between. And also, it could depend on the TV, too. But it's, yeah, 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 yeah. But, yeah, like, it, it wasn't long at all. Pretty quick. Yeah. Um, so then, you want to do Splatoon or ARMS? Um... Splatoon. Game of the show. You made the right choice by saying that's the game that you would like to buy a Switch for. I'm not going to say that, you know, yeah, I you mean, shouldn't buy one sooner, obviously. Yeah, um, it, it was fun from what I played. But you, you got to play a little more than me. Yeah, so we went over, we stood in line, and as I was standing there, one of the reps was just like, hey, there's a... Blah, 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 and pointed at a, at a section. So I was like, yeah, okay, I'll jump in. Um, jumped in. The first one I did was TV mode with a pro controller. And it was four on four, us four on the one side of the row, four on the opposite side playing. Um, huh. Was there anyone uh, with joints in their mouths? Ah, uh, Snoop Dogg, Zac Efron <laughs> style? Yes. <laughs> Both Snoop Dogg and Zac Efron were there. Piggybacking. On the same scene with Reggie and Karen. Yes, Perfect. got it. All uh, <laughs> with their secret weapons. I think we just made like our own like rogues gallery. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we did. Uh, and then Jamie Foxx was on my team. Perfect. And yeah, so um, did you get any footage of that? By the way, I don't remember. No, the just, angle was bad. Just roll B roll, Snoop Dogg. Yeah, you were you were behind yeah. like the one guy walking you through the game. He and was then towering the other guy room. next to you, yeah, and then was. I was just too busy watching the TV of the other side. Not a big deal at all. Um, I was I just couldn't remember. Yeah. Um, so playing with the pro controller. I'm so happy you can finally play Splatoon with a pro controller. Like, yeah, that sounds nice. The again to to speak to what I said earlier about the fact that like the message I get from this console and and I think the message they're trying to push is do whatever you want. Doesn't matter how you like to play, you can do it. Um, if you want to be the guy who just plays with a pro controller and plugs it into your TV and never undocks that <laughs> thing, fine. Raise you, my hand. You got yeah. it. Right. Um, if you want to be someone who throws it in your bag and plays it like a 3ds, go for it. Like whatever. It, I'll can, probably be more than half the time. Yeah, you can occasionally really, see me taking that. You board. can really, if you want to kickstand it, slide them off and go fucking. Nah, that's not me. We remote nunchuck style. You can totally do that. You want to turn on the side. versatility, versatility, versatility. Splatoon with the pro controller feels so good. 
Yeah, I wish I had to. I wish I could have done that. It was super I just, good. I just played the handheld. Like, that's um, just the Switch itself. Either they were very bad, or I'm better at Splatoon than I thought. Got first place, first round. Dude, I forgot how to play. And I dominated first round. I, like, I lost my edge in that. It's, I, well, we just played it. I was going to say, you may have benefited from yeah. seeing me play it. Um, yeah, you're more fresh with it. <laughs> it is, it, it felt very good. Um, playing that game but yeah i mean it felt cool having cool new hairstyles that was probably my favorite part was just i didn't seeing all the new inkling i didn't try the the duel the spot duelies so then after i wrecked shit and my team won both times um we swapped and did handheld mode um is that how they refer to it yeah handheld i think mode. so Dang. that's um, just what i'm saying yep there's tv mode tabletop mode and handheld mode the three modes hmm. three major modes so we went to handheld mode where we each had our own switches uh, in hand and we're looking at the screen on the actual console. Um, and yeah. we played – this is where Mark jumped in and played. I think I'm just not used to a small screen. You know what? Not used to it for that because most of the games we played were on a TV. Yeah. My thing with this was – and this is what I was kind of fearing and I think it kind of happened – is the placement of that right joystick – I don't know – because I definitely – like, I obviously was still great because our team won both times with that. Yeah, you said that already a couple times. No, no, no. I was talking <laughs> about the first time. But then the second time when I actually went against you, yeah, yeah. we won both times, which is important to note. Mm. But I definitely played worse handheld mode than I did with the Pro Controller. I it's, I think it's that – the placement of that. Like See, for me, hand... it's just gyroscope. I don't play with that one. Gyroscope was weird. And I couldn't yeah. – we couldn't turn that off. Yeah. Sensitivity was a little high on it. I would I the thing too is that like again I, it's strapped to these weird things like holding that it, yeah. it felt really awkward at times. Um, trying to play that yeah because you're trying to you're trying to move and aim be articulate and then you have like yeah a, a metal cable yeah you know, there's a, a lot clamp, of factors like... with that like the fact that it it was like it was weighted to a certain point and we're holding it and I'm also like terrified to drop the thing you know what right. I mean like, so yeah. like. For a game with gyroscope, maybe not the best scenario to be in when trying that out, but I'm sure outside of it, it's probably not that bad. Like I could see myself will, like in bed, like if yeah. I'm like looking up, yeah, I wouldn't mind turning it around, whatever. But. I will say that like what I do like about that is if you could turn down the sensitivity on that gyroscope and just use it as a way to nudge here and there, like you've got it, but you're not because I'm terrible. At, like, is that a thing in the first one, uh, Matt? Do you remember? You just played it. We were doing. Is there a gyroscope sensitivity? I don't. I never heard. I of don't it. know about turning it down, but you can definitely there like was a gyroscope part of it. What was that? Because I, I, I think I turned off gyroscope, and you, it did one or the other. This you could do both. You could do your right analog yeah, stick. Yeah, because I don't like. Oh, uh, I, I don't like hitting right a button to stick. fix the camera. I like just using the right stick to move and fix the camera. Mm. Cause that's what you had to do. You had to keep hitting X because of the way the gyro. Dude, you're looking around yeah. and like, oh X, okay, auto fix behind me. I'm like, just oh. always stay behind yeah. me. What no, the hell? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It's a first person shooter. <laughs> yeah. Well, third. Well, um, I mean, but we can yeah. You want that? Yeah. Um. But it I, Splatoon two is really good. So I did play yeah. mo- the for first... the time that they gave us. It just wasn't enough time for me. Yeah, yeah. To yeah. adapt, but from what I played, I did enjoy it. Yeah. It felt fine. It felt like Splatoon, but just you know tweaked nicely yeah it, it felt like the natural evolution of that yeah. the first first three rounds i did i used the splatter shot which was around in the first one uh final round i did the hold on i wrote down the name of it because it's kinda... split spot dualies splat dualies yeah <laughs> um they're super cool they feel like splatter shot in terms of like combat but a little bit faster a little bit more rapid the dopest part, though, is when you fill up your meter and you can press the right stick to activate your special. <sighs> did, did you see? Did you ever see like walking around with those giant like yeah. rockets on your shoulder? You just look like an idiot. Like, yeah, so so <laughs> like you're back um, and So no, well, not only before even activating the thing, well, activating the thing, you get a fucking jetpack of ink. So you're just flying around, and then your weapon, you just kind of like pull the trigger, and it just throws these massive lumps of whatever mm-hmm. and whoever um but even just wandering around that was the weapon where the side roll thing that new mechanic they added was and i kept doing it by accident but it still felt super cool is it only with that weapon 
because I couldn't do it. I never did or it. By, I never tried. I never did it by accident with the first one, and I played exactly the same as I did the second. So I I don't know if it's just that weapon or if it's mm. a, a new mechanic in general. Yeah. I don't know. It may have been that like the way that I was kind of fumbling with the controls on the handheld mode that yeah. I did it by accident. I don't know. I was just a roller and a sniper. Mm. Felt pretty good though. Uh yeah, I forgot how to use the roller at first. I forgot the whole down. Yeah. yeah. And then I was like, oh okay. Yeah. And I was like, because I'm trying to like reacquaintance myself with the game, mm. I was like, oh, we're not covering the map. All right, we're not gonna <laughs> win this. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, I'm very stoked for that. Uh, yeah, Squid Kids look cool. Story set two years in the future. Dark, ominous future. Ooh. <laughs> Dark colors. Damn. Were there any new? <laughs> Brown, colors? white, and red. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Splatoon 2. Game of the show. Well, that's good to hear. I was so I'm excited about for that, though. Yeah. yeah, it was very good. You'll, you'll be happy. And then Arms. I like like I wasn't sure about this when I first saw it. I'm like, yeah, like I had an idea of what to expect when playing it, like a maybe like a wee boxing type feel, but like delayed with because you know your long yeah. range. Yeah. But everything was actually pretty f- speedy and like mm-hmm. fast responding, and it was it was good. Like it was. I think the problem with Arms when they first debuted it was we waited so long for information about the NX. We mm-hmm. learned that it was the Switch. And we were through the roof. Yeah. Then we waited three more months to find out what we're actually going to play on the thing. And we spent three months thinking about, again, the versatility they showed. What is that Mario game? Where's Super Smash Brothers? What does this look like? All of that stuff. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden it felt like 2006 again with arms where they're showing us motion again. Yeah. That that came. So I actually have the notes of the uh, uh, conference. One, two, switch was first. And then arms. Right. So and then we got to the, the meat. Yeah, so by I, the time we saw arms, we kind of were already like, oh, shit. In right? hindsight, it almost feels like the press conference was a little bit misleading. They were just focused on parts that made you think what the system was. One when. ice cube. Two ice cubes. Which, like, like they made you think this was, this was just a tablet with Wiimotes strapped to the side of it. Right. And it's like, it's It's not, so much more than that. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's, yeah. Um. I, I can see why they would go that route. But, yeah, so ARMS, I kind of had a really bad taste because of yeah. the lead-up to it and the flashbacks I was kind of having. But, yeah. yeah, it you played more of it than I did. Yeah. I won all those matches. Oh, there you go. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I tried the, the, the ninja guy because I picked the characters by accident because I was just hitting buttons. Um, but he was cool. I like him. And then I went to the, the mech girl. I forgot her name already. Velma. Tron Bond. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it was fun. The only appropriate character to play as is Ribbon Girl. Just saying, but you know, that's, uh, uh my, my insider, wink, wink, was, uh, he was telling me that the slightest adjustment to the Joy-Con impacted the way you threw the punch. So like the slightest twist mid punch curve the punch yeah and uh, he said yeah. it was just very responsive i'll tell you how responsive that is i so i, I curve a punch a cr- like, but, kinda, but, but, but but i but i didn't keep my hand twisted the entire time and because of that not only was it curving inward my 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 arm was inward but my hand was outward so so like my right hand would hit the left side of your face right because right, right. i went like yeah <laughs> i made an s with my arm but it was true. It was that responsive. Redundant. Like, that is pointless to do in this game, but I kept doing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it was really, it was impressive. Um, it definitely, for me, it had like a, almost like a Splatoon-like feel to it because of how cartoony the, the characters are, the type of competitiveness the game has. Yeah. The responsive with the controls. Like, everything just kind of felt right with it. Um, yeah. A, as long a as lot you know of, what you were doing. A lot of people that have played it have made this comparison and I'll make it uh, as well. And I'll I'll, I'll jump on that is that this is to fighting games as Splatoon is to competitive shooters. Like it. Yeah. Hopefully they add more characters. I feel like that's not a big roster. Uh, No, no, there's more than that. I think there's at least eight. Is there? I think. Because I've I, I've only seen the demo only showed us the four. I would love to see this game kind of take off online. Oh, it is four. No, it's five. Huh. Mummy, mech, ninja, boy, girl. Oh, yeah. I, I think there's eight. 
I think. Uh, I think. I don't know. But but you can I, customize the different arms. Yeah. Like, this has to be, I mean, you got the, what, how many months free? Is it six or something like that of this Nintendo service? Give or take. Like, you, Splatoon's going to be the star once it comes out. Mm-hmm. This has yes. to kind of, like, be good enough to kind of get us a sample of, is the service good? If you love the mm-hmm. Wii Boxing. Yeah. Go for it. Uh, if but you even, want a more competitive Wii even Boxing. If you, even if you didn't love Wii Boxing, because... Like we played it with motion controls. That's the only way they offered it at this event. Yeah. So if you're, yeah, if you're a fan of the motion controls, yeah. But he, I think Weeboxing. even without like <laughs> this is going to be a really cool, like one-on-one fighting. Game. Oh yeah, because like the L and R buttons, yeah. one's jump and one is dash. Mm-hmm. So oh, you can like jump and dash midair and all that. And... But it is a it's a you know third-person view boxing game. And yeah. then you actually do the X to block. Yeah. Oh, God. So, oh, I'm that's so why I sold. <laughs> it's, yeah. It was fun. It was really. It's yeah. pretty. I hope they make a punch out on this. Oh man, I, be... I think what will end up happening with this is they'll do free DLC like they did with Splatoon. Little, and Mac. Little Mac ends up in it. Watch him not be like he can't stretch. He has to actually be in close, and <laughs> that's fine. He'll have a the bonus of like when you. He should be able to punch your arms and they wrap around you or something. God, there's a way to get Mike or like, Tyson to or be like, in this game. Or like I'm you in. punch out the person's Definitely hand. I'm in. And it hits them back in the face. Oh, uh, yeah. That'd be cool. Uh, Arms is good. Not out at launch, though, right? It's not day one. I don't think I don't so. think it is. Yeah. But it, I, I liked Arms. That was one going into the show where I was kind of like, yeah, Arms, whatevs. Who cares? I'll probably get Arms. At this yeah, like, that was a game that was like, I didn't have any real expectations from it, like, good or bad. Yeah. It was just yeah. pretty neutral. And then when I played it, I, I, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Um. I would play it again. Nah, just Q2. Uh, IGN just have, has his Q2 2017, so, you yeah. know. Uh, those were the games. Yes. Yep. Yep. And then we just we, we went back to Mario Kart After again. The, yeah. Because I got to play it finally, and yeah. that's when we did the battle mode. Um, And the battle mode, I, I like the battle mode. Um, we, we also raced, but. Yeah. Uh, so talking a little bit of specifics before we bring the show to a close, um, Mark, think about this while I say this part. Think about your concerns going into it. Okay. But like my biggest concern going into this, my only thing about the Switch, because really I've been pretty confident with it since we've known what uh, it I, is. I know. I know you know. <laughs> but my one big thing that I kind of feared just by looking at it I kind of feared based on other people's reactions to it was that right Joy-Con by itself on the side. Because the way the joystick is positioned, it is a little bit, if you're holding it normal tablet mode, that joystick is higher up on the right hand side. So when you would play that by itself, you would have to kind of reach further and you'd be a little tighter. And I thought that was going to feel really dumb. It felt no, really I, fine. Yeah, I didn't hate it either way. That um, was uh, that was a question I asked my insider. It was like that that second Joy-Con. Yeah. How does that feel? And he said, "Not bad at all." It was yeah. Like I can see why the shoulder buttons might feel weird going mm-hmm. into your hand, but all you have to do is just move your finger like yeah. that. Like he said, just he like really just look it over. Notice a difference. Yeah, like uh, it's really not that big so of a deal. That, that made me happy too. Because somebody else had said I had heard previously, like, no, it's bad. It's not good. It's not a good way to play, but. I did not have a problem with it yeah, at like, all. Yeah, like, it all figures out. Like, I can see why it would be, but there is an easy, like, solution. Yeah. But it's either don't touch it at all or just position your mm-hmm. finger a little differently. That was really my it. only concern was that. was just, like, everything else looks good. I get it. I'm on board. That seems like it's going to suck and it's going to be crummy to be that person. Yeah. It's not going to be crummy to be that person. Did you have any specific concerns going into this show? Um, like, that like, were dashed or were like, not like dashed. with the hardware, any of it, just like, any of it. Yeah. Um. I guess just doing anything, like. I mean, my biggest concern was just from what when we did Mario Kart, just the whole split screen thing. Mm. Like, maybe because I didn't get enough time with it, but like to try to focus on something like that with that kind of game, I just feel like you don't have enough screen space for a, a game with a car. Yeah, I. I think that one's going to be edge case. Like, I, I don't... Because, you know, when you're in a car in general, you'd like to see yeah. as much as you can. Yeah. I, and... <laughs> I don't... Yeah. I don't see most of us playing that way. I right. think that will be a thing where it's like, 
Now, if it's if it's like a co-op game where the screen doesn't split, yeah. I think it'll be okay. Like I Smash. I think the the reason why is Mario Kart. It was because I don't think there's another game you can really do that with right now. Pro- mm. Probably not. Yeah. Um, but again, like I would I would wager to say that like like Street Fighter could definitely probably well it'd be weird but yeah Street Fighter you could I honestly I'm only saying I'm only iffy because using the joystick for inputs mm. as to a D pad yeah yeah we didn't get to do that and I I, I guess I know why because they probably didn't want us to I mean you could yeah. use a joystick in Street Fighter but I mean I I wanted but I really I, I, wanted I, I, to try I wanted to try Street Fighter with the Joy-Con uh, and they didn't have that available uh, yeah um but uh no no. What were we talking about? Oh, the split screen. I I really legitimately I would not hate doing four player split screen on a single switch. It sounds stupid. Matt's making the most nightmarish face that any man's ever made. I'm gonna be really close to that screen if that happens. <laughs> but I like it again, not something I would do every single time. It's not the way I'd want to play, but yeah. if I were It depends on the game. If I went over for Thanksgiving for dinner and I just had my Switch and no way to plug it into a TV for some reason. No dock. And I just, you know, I'm yeah. waiting on the stuffing to come out. I'd be, I'd be okay. If it even allows for. Right. right. We don't know that. I think it does. I mean, I saw a four-player option mm-hmm. with Mario Kart, but we don't know. Controller-wise? Yeah, well, you have to bring extra Joy-Cons. You have mm-hmm. to... Huh. Is there a way to hook this up to a TV without the dock if you have the necessary cables? I guess you can take USB-C? the innards out of the oh, dock. Oh, you mean like USB-C like an out adapter? A... I don't know. I wonder. I, I, I didn't think you would know. I'm, just, I'm, I'm, kind of I'm sure if you, you modify the innards of the dock, take what's out of that, and then... I believe the dock is simply HDMI just, out, and when you plug yeah. this thing in, it's pinging the signal to... I, I think the dock itself might be just USB-C to HDMI, so... You might be able to. I'm curious. Like I have, because I have a, the newer style MacBook Pros with yeah, the USB C. Yeah. Like I have the adapter already. Like I'm curious if if I need a second dock. But is the you know what is the console going to read that is on a TV? That's probably the the thing there. It's probably going to still think it's in handheld mode. Yeah. If that impacts no, anything, no. that's just a curious thought. I think a concern that I would have is uh, when it comes to like local play. Hmm. How good it, it will be at receiving and sending out because I'll be playing games at our local play at my friend's house and like we played Four Swords mm-hmm. and we still had trouble connecting and we are literally adjacent to each other. Interesting. So hopefully that's a thing that isn't a problem. So well, like in, maybe it's just that game that had a, that problem. In terms but, of that though, like because you could uh, you can connect two devices ad hoc. Yeah, it's all going to depend on the frequency. So that, I don't know if you have the option to modify which frequency you're connecting over. Plus that mixed with the app. What do you mean? Later for the voice chat. Right, or, yeah. But I, but I wonder, like, connecting with these things, if you'll, depending on which bands you go across, if you're able to change which bands you're using because you don't want to use the, like, I don't know, TV interference, microwave interference, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. Um, you guys didn't touch the UI speaking of party chat, right? No, every single console I sat down at, I pressed the like, home button and like nothing guided happened. Guided access kind of thing. I mean, every single console I, I sat down with, the... I set, I hit the share button and nothing happened. Yeah. I, I kept hitting it on everything. And yeah, nothing. like they had like people between like setups to like resync or reset mm-hmm, mm-hmm. with like another controller. Like I don't know what was happening. They mm-hmm. had to do something. Yeah, to like reset and it. That's what my insider said because I asked him that question. Mm-hmm. He said no, no go. Yeah, I that's tried every single time. He said he tried to. Every so these are probably just the software might be just demo built, it's like a guided access type of thing as a developer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it's a, it's a fantastic console. I feel good yeah. about it. I'm super stoked to have one. We're only a couple weeks away, and you don't have one. I'll get one. Sorry, I got one. I was talking to Dash. I was like, if I could find a pre-order and then scalp it to you for. Yeah, two times I, the price. I would I'll, do it. I would do it. Or leave it unopened just on this table while we record. Mm-hmm. Just knowing that I haven't played it, haven't opened it, and I'm going to take it home with me I and still do the same thing. bring it over the next chance I get. You're, you're a good one. I figure if I don't have one in my hands, I'm going to just spend the whole weekend driving around. Well, I mean, got to play Bomberman with someone. Yeah, it's true. So. It's very true. <laughs> Uh, Matt, any final thoughts or questions about our experience with the Nintendo Switch? 
Nothing. I, I got like all the questions I kind of wanted to ask in the lightning round. Mm-hmm. Um, I could think yeah. of one question you didn't ask. Go. What kind of swag did we get? Oh. <laughs> Want to know? Sure. Well, we got a Tech Taco. Now, I'm sure you're familiar with the Tech Taco already, but for, you know, the silly ones out there who aren't, oh, um, two of you. it is a piece of trash. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's, a small, it's a small piece of fabric with a button, and you fold it in half so it makes the shape of a taco, and it buttons together, and you can store, like, your headphones coiled up in there and keep them so they don't get loose and tangled in your pocket matt come back um yeah not really don't have to worry about that well think yeah, about that's a, that's a cool floss think about the sensor <laughs> think about your charging cables hmm? anyway is that the sound of the, the switch that no <laughs> sound of the switch is, is a unique it is a better click it's, it's a, a unique really heavenly click. sound of its yeah. own um <laughs> in addition to the tech taco we got cookies. Ooh. Um, they were... Were they Mario shaped? No. That's they were disappointing. Just rectangle They were cookies? rectangle that said Nintendo Switch. had the logo oh, okay. embossed oh, on that's it. something. Yeah. They were good... Uh, what kind of cookie was it? It was like a soft bread... What do they call it? Bre- uh, bread. Crumbly as fuck. They were very crumbly. Uh, crumbly as fuck cookie. But they were there good go. cookies. Sold. Had that's a good bad. cookie with a good icing on it. Yeah. Uh, we got... Uh, candy. Some can- Mark got like M&M's. They were just red and white looking M&M's. I didn't open them. Mm-hmm. I got uh, gummy bears. I think Actually, cookies were one of them, like the little, best. yeah, little tiny cookies. They had goldfish in a thing, and it Ooh. was it was just a little tiny. But it had Switch's bag. logo, yeah, on top of it. So, um, got a pin. Pin. That was the other thing. Got That's a cool. Pin. Yeah. So the pin is currently on my backpack. Uh, was that all the swag? Basically. Yeah. That's why she didn't buy a pin. No, sorry, nothing. There you go. <laughs> That's I thought. Yep. She won't know. Uh, Some people got a hat, right? So they did uh, live things where it was like, "Yo, yeah. we need five people to come up and play arms." All right, let's get two of you. Fuck five, and then uh, they whoever participated in the on stage got like trucker hats. Got a trucker hat with a switch logo. I was not disappointed to not have one. Don't really need a hat. If only you were wearing that hat when you saw the whole bird condom thing happening, you would have felt real at home at Dundalk. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <sighs> Next time, you know, switch two. Yeah. Two years from now. Yeah. I think – so maybe that that might be a, a topic for next week, but I kind of want to talk about – The bird condom? The bird condom. No, I want to talk <laughs> about what they do next, which I know is a silly thing to ask and talk about before this thing's even out, but – I mean, it, it probably won't we'll, be as original. Okay. Dip, yeah, sh- I'll – yeah. Pin, I'll, episode 185, we'll, we'll chat about that. But uh, Mark, final thoughts on the event, the Switch, the games, the I anything? Was, I was impressed. Yeah. I didn't think I would be. Yeah. Because of being so open to this information and everything that we've seen throughout the year or two. And, mm-hmm. like, just, I, I guess it, it is different once you're there in person being able to hold it. Like, it just. Yeah. It, like, it was new, but it didn't f- exactly. It felt familiar. It was new and familiar at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Very natural, intuitive. Like yeah, the, yeah. The, the controls, like the Joy-Con, like, all right, this is Joy-Con. Yep, this is what this button does. Yeah, it made sense. There you go. Like, you yeah. didn't have to think twice about it. You just went in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just hurt myself doing that. I think that's a little bruise that. going on right there. <laughs> uh, Impressed. That was yeah. That's what I take away from The whole thing, just the way they presented it, the, how everything was set up. The The crowd was nice. It was just like it was It empty. was. It was empty. And it, it, it was digestible. Like, we never stood in line for longer than... It didn't have a test of patience. There was a couple of no. people I probably didn't care about that were a little cringeworthy, but yeah. aside from that, I mean, that's yeah, anywhere you go. It's a public event, yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it, it didn't it didn't take away from the experience. No. It was good. It was really good. That console is going to be huge. I think everyone's going to want one. I think the only lackluster part, I guess, would be, you know, they don't have a lot of games out for it to, like... And that's a bingo. That's like the only downfall, but in time. Uh, yeah, in time. in time. That's why I'm saying like in yeah. time I will get my Switch. We still don't know about Virtual yeah. Console. That right. scares like, me. 
Yeah, I'm um, scares. I me. guess I guess that's another concern, Typically, but but yeah. that wasn't a concern related to the show that we went to. Yeah, no, no, no. But yeah, yeah in general, that's always been my concern. You still don't know much about online. I still think back end or figuring that stuff out. But yeah, that's yeah. not related. To but that. I think as, I think if virtual consoles there at launch. Yeah, I think as you'll for be hardware, okay. superb. Hardware is amazing. It is like the thinnest, nicest piece of yeah. Nintendo hardware I've probably held next to my new 3ds yeah i really like the new 3ds um but yeah they, is... actually the plastic is like that material yeah the, yeah it's very smooth yeah the, the, like the, the shells on the new 3ds uh-huh. it, it's like that yeah this is this is so good like this is it's everything it's just sound effects that's all it is just yeah. sound effects i've been thinking of a question it's but it's not switch related give me it did we fix that thing after our broke playing Batman Forever? I didn't go back to it. Oh. Yeah. What broke? Uh, <laughs> the TV? No. Uh, just look at... No, uh, I was like, what? No, 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 no. no. Uh, look at uh, Joe's uh, Instagram feed if you're curious no. about what happened. No, it's on, our, it's on the free cheese Instagram feed. Not mine. Oh, that, uh, that's right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Add some free cheese. Are uh, you talking about the little piece of soap over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, God, it was so good. Uh, well, that's gonna do it for episode 184. Um, like Matt said, you can go follow us on Instagram at some free cheese. We're posting things there. I got a couple little clips from the event, uh, some pictures from the event. Uh, later this week, we'll have stuff on our YouTube channel from the event. But if you're bored now and you want some stuff on that YouTube channel, we have a little retro spotlight where none other than Matt played some uh, Super Metroid. We, tomorrow, if you're listening to this the day the um, podcast went up, tomorrow, Tuesday, Valentine's Day, the first of our multi-part series on Injustice. Just playing through Injustice again. So chapter one goes up. Batman on uh, Valentine's Day. Uh, Wednesday, got a little retro spotlight uh, playing the game Pinball for the Nintendo Entertainment System. That one's quite good. I forgot we played that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was quite good. I very much like that. And later on in the week, uh, we'll have a fully edited version of uh, our adventure to Washington, D.C. To play the Nintendo Switch. Uh, probably later today or sometime soon, I will have some written up full on impressions about everything and kind of put my thoughts into written form. Uh, um, I might finally get Flipside out on time. Hey, hey, maybe. Fingers crossed on that one. Uh, I think that's gonna do it. You can follow us all on Twitter. Free cheese is at some free cheese. Mark is at Og. <clears throat> Sorry. Aug and underscore mental. It's A-U-G underscore M-E-N-T-A-L. Matt at Matty Ice 131. The bot account. Yes. Yeah. That's correct. Yeah. Go to the Mark last week. I'm the, bo- I'm the bot that is uh, terrorizing Dorothy. Twitter. Push You're a snow Dorothy. Push me on a taco. And I am <laughs> at the free cheese. Follow us. Hang out with us. Send us uh, feedback, letters, questions. Comments? Did were you at the Switch event and you didn't say hi? You should have, but it's okay. Tell us your thoughts and impressions. Podcast. I think it went Friday. Yeah, or later in the afternoon after we were there. More than one. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. Yep. Switch. Nintendo Switch. X. X one get two. Cool. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, listener, for hanging out with us. We'll be back in another week's time with another week's episode of the Free Cheese Podcast.